There we go. Okay. Give us a countdown. Give us a moment and a time of being. Oh, I'm just gonna... Alright, three, two, one, here we go. What's up everybody? My name is Viendo. Hip. I just did a vape nation symbol with my with my, with my hands. No one is gonna see that. Uh how y'all doing? My name is Viendo, Blendy B. What was chilling happening? Today is the 20th of February 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week and have had a wonderful week coming up to this week. Um, yeah, I last week I played Metroid Prime and uh, my eyes, my sleeping schedule has not recovered. So we're going to go nice and chill today. We're going super casual, super fun. And what better fun way than uh, playing a video game that will totally not attract any ire of attention that is correct let's get into it so i had in my mind a little bit of an interesting uh how would i say a conundrum something to do with that basically i was like okay i want to figure out what game do i want to play and i thought mm, i could play like an adventure style game like a zelda or something like that or i could play a first person shooter or I could play like an RPG. And I realized I could play all three. As in, I could play three versions of this video game and technically play all of them. Well, I guess the PC version is not a first person shooter, but it's a third person shooter and it runs on the Unreal Engine. This is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I'm Australian. It should say Philosophers. But for the uh, 60 frames a second US crowd, I have to play this version of the PS1 game that has Sorcerers in the name. Who decided, ah yes, Americans don't know how to say Philosophers, so Sorcerers. They're all Sorcerers. They even say Philosophers in in the the movie itself. Uh, but this is, uh, this is the tie-in game uh, for the PS1. This was, uh, EA went kind of all out with having a, a multi-console release for this game and or for, for this film to for games to tie in with the film so this PS1 version exists purely as a PS1 version but the PlayStation 1 was a crazy popular system so that's a that's fair game but uh, uh, those of you who have watched my channel ages ago I haven't actually played any game by these guys but this game is developed by Argonaut Software Argonaut Inc Argonaut Productions one of them Argonaut uh, most notably had developed the Emperor's New Groove game and Croc 1 and 2. All three are games that I've played on my channel and I've been kind of meaning to check out some of their other games on on my channel in some way because I really do appreciate their work. Even if sometimes it's a bit average, I really kind of appreciate it just in fun senses. So, uh, But you can kind of clearly tell as well this game does use you know, they finished the Emperor's New Groove and they just immediately said, chuck that engine into, or put Harry Potter in this engine. So, uh, so yeah, you can kind of feel, you know, a bit of the same UI, a bit of the same shenanigans going on. Um, including these loading screens that just consist of a picture and a loading bar. But I think this game captures the, uh, the atmosphere fairly well. With this giant book. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. I... As unsuspecting muggles mm. slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. Hagrid and his Harley Davidson. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle, was a baby. I used to Harry sometimes Potter, the boy who lived. I used to sometimes call it Private Driv. For the next eleven years, Harry lived with his dreadful step parents, the Dursleys. I couldn't even bother to keep Until the kid on the same picture. Day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School, what was that of breath in the middle of the wizardry, sentence? Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? 
said the hat in his ear. Oh my gosh, it's you the same voice right. actor. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? He's well, wearing a sure. red jumper. Better he be will never be. Gryffindor! Wow. Now, I just want to note in this intro, we did not get introduced to any other characters other than Hagrid, Harry's, uh, I guess, adopted family. Ooh. There's a wonderful bit of audio jarring. Cool. Look at this guy. Look at this fella. What? Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Oh my goodness. No, Hogwarts is full of secrets, I love his glasses, Harry. the real so jamming though. So search behind every door, but keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. That sounds oh, like lazy um, game design. Which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer the most. Painful death. Why would you tell people that? And he just, he's just like, oh, see <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this is a, um, this is a game. Ooh, Harry's wand is, uh, prematurely going off here. Uh, but yeah, this is a video game by, uh, by, oh, oh because I've got it mapped on the fast forward button. Sorry, my bad, my bad, sorry. Wait. My bad, I, I am so sorry. I've got the gosh darn heckin' fast forward button on my emulator. Uh, input. <laughs> Someone's gonna absolutely hate on me if I've got that one still mapped. Okay. We should be good. <laughs> yeah, that, if that looked like it was going around so fast, it was because I had camera turning mapped to R2. Oh, sorry. I had fast forward mapped to R2. Sorry. I knew I should have planned that one. Uh, but, yeah, we got, we got doors, we got rooms you can go in. Um, and you're just told to, like, just explore. Which is a bit of an organic way to take the game, well, I guess. Now it's nice to see a new face in the Gryffindor too. Good for you. I mean, everyone's gonna be one of the four houses. The last time I opened up, I'm a bit rusty, you see. I'm not sure I still can. Uh, sure. However, if you can find out the correct password, I'll give it a go. Off you go then, but be careful. There are some odd creatures about. I don't know if I trust like paintings that have like a reverb when you talk to them. You know. Um. But yeah, this game is, uh, well, I, I, I might have alluded to it being a Zelda adventure game, but it's, a uh, it's a little bit more linear than that, but it's still got its fun, like, little platformy charms, and, you know, you got your items and your fun little mini games. so, uh, other than that, I guess every single room is locked off. It's got that wonderful PS1 war. This is something that Argonaut, like, really oddly stuck with. They have weird, like, texture warping in all their games. But, I also kind of dig the art style a bit. I don't know, that's something nice about just the PS1 charm, and, uh, you know, everyone knows the memes of PS1 Hagrid. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits. There are fun and things called twins and not prizes. needing another voice actor. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavor beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. Did she just like blink? Does, does the painting actually blink? Like did they, hold on, check it. Yeah, she does blink. Whoa. So this is the kind of fun thing. You can hit square on some of these bookshelves and they turn around revealing weird little secrets and they're just all over the place. Along with this wonderful motion blur. Um, but this game is filled with a lot of, like, interesting, no. fun secrets. Um, now, yeah, unfortunately, it's like, view the folio, mad magi? And, uh, yeah, you gotta load it in, so, uh... Merlin, medieval, dates unknown, most famous wizard of all time, sometimes known as Prince of the Enchanters, part of the court of King Arthur. They got a little fun book where you can view your little cards that you get and then you exit out and you gotta load back into where you were so you're probably gonna see me never you know open any of those up um 
But they're fun little collectibles you can get through the game. Now, a lot of them, you know, a lot of things in this game do get locked off because it's a bit of a linear game. So, uh, don't, don't trust me to know where they all are because I've only ever played this game through once. But I really digged it and I thought, let's, let's give it a go. So, um, all these shoes squeak sometimes. I want to get his shoes to squeak again. Oh, well. Um... Oh my gosh, this goes everywhere. This paint, this this candle. What is the point of floating candles, by the way? Like, I feel like this room would be decently lit if you just had candles on the sides or just actual like natural lighting. And Harry just loves to climb on massive bookshelves. I feel like these are not like these are not special bookshelves here. Hey Harry, remember me, Ron Weasley? That slimy slither in Draco Malfoy. First time he's brought up, by the way, in this game. You're just supposed to know who he is. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. And he stole my owl. Immediately, so. Um, so yeah, this is how the game kind of works. Is that you'll wander around the castle and then you're kind of just told to, like, do something. And that kind of, you know, instigates on, the level. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy. And you do well to show me respect. Oh my gosh, it looks so Looking weird in this one. Looking for owl of yours. How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? Oh, we just pulled a fatty, fatty no parents on you. Oh. So, uh... He's a nasty piece of work. <laughs> just ignore him. Us Gryffindors should stick together. <laughs> stick to your house. In it. So, uh, Come on, Harry, follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. So this is a bit of a. Let's go. This is what I mean by like it's a bit of a Zelda, um, inspired game in the sense of like, you know, the the platform is just follow kind of me. you know running and going at it rather than mm. like actually needing to hit a jump button. And you're gonna have abilities to mapped to your just other the edge and keep your other buttons. On the controller. Um, but I find like these movie games to be a bit you know interesting just because. You know, the, the level of quality the ranges. Even sometimes it's a bare me. minimum kind of thing. Mm. And sometimes they're... Oh, mm. okay, sure. Sometimes it's a bare minimum kind of thing, and sometimes it's like... You know, I can see what they're going for. I feel like Argonauts games definitely do okay. None of them are particularly, like... I guess, amazing in any way after, like, you know... After, like, Star Fox. And even then, they weren't, like, the main developers on Star Fox. But, you know... Hello, Harry Potter. My oh my god. Oh, headless, oh no. House ghost. Oh, look how tall this room is. Well, the house ghost. Doesn't that mean he's got like unfinished out. business? If you want to look Does around, he ever have unfinished business? Button. Press the triangle button again when you finished. Okay, cool. Thanks, bro. I will say, this game's got nice music. It's cozy. I don't know what, where this theme is from. It's, it's not from the actual films, is it? But it shows up in all the games. Got these paintings on the wall, but... This is what I mean. Like, this this kind of architecture... It's a bit wacky, it's a bit gamey, but you know what? It's good fun. I kind of like it. I dig it. And you get these weird paintings that may be of developers. As well as also just stuff glitching out and turning black for half a second. Oh my gosh! He ate the reptile. Uh, this is alluring me to keep going up. But what do I gain by standing up here? Why Why does it keep going up? It's, uh... Sure, okay. Uh, but yeah. I, um, as a young lad, I actually played the... Second game, oh, the second of these Harry Potters on the Xbox, and uh, I had the third one on the GBA, and uh, I think I had the uh, the fourth one on the GameCube. And from there on out, it was like I don't know, I didn't really play too many of them. Why are there snails in my castle? Actually, perhaps snails are very common to the castle. And now Harry's one is not premature, uh, so. Uh, you can lock on to enemies by hitting R1, and you can hold down X, and you can cuss a flipendo. Or you can just kind of tap it, and the guy flips out, I guess. You'll also see me collecting house points in the top right there. Um, 
You can use your L2 and R2 right. buttons to rotate the game camera. Thanks, talking book. Appreciate it. Uh, the frogs are for health. I don't know if the game made that clear. Um, but the house points are purely there to kind of... Actually, I guess, I think they judge you. You can get to the end of the game and not beat Slytherin in house points and kind of disappointingly just kind of sit there going, oh, we didn't win. Um, Press the triangle button to view your surroundings. Yeah, I, I, you can also cast a flippendo knockback jinx from this view. Oh, well, that See is cool that you can, you can do that. To in this room. Sure, I guess. Um, you can definitely feel the frame rate kind of having Did a moment. That those poisonous snails twinkle? <laughs> Things that twinkle can be affected by a flippendo knockback jinx. I also found this Flippendo is a, is a weird spell, because it's probably in the book somewhere, but like, it's not in the movies. Movie, and as a fun fact, Harry doesn't cast any spells in the entire first movie. I swear, he, he doesn't. Just, you can you can confirm, you can confirm, he he doesn't. The best you can say is, uh, like, he uh, made the glass disappear at the beginning, which caused uh, the, the Dursley to... Dudley, Dudley Dursley. I forgot his name. Causes him to fall into the snake room. But like, he, te he technically doesn't cast anything, and I don't know, man. It's like, we got jinxes, we got like, apparently hitting a... Hitting a rat means serious business. Alright, well this looks like the way to go, so... What's in this little cheeky room over here? Because it's not like... There is perhaps some little bits of backtracking if you really wanted to. Um... I think that is not even a door. What? Is, <laughs> it's just there. Um, but yeah, I always feel like none of these Harry Potter games are really like that bad. Maybe if you want to go to like uh, Deathly Hallows Part One, perhaps is, is a bit ominous. But uh, well, you know, that, that's a lot of games down the line. If I was to get to that one. So. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged flippendo knockback jinx to move it. To cast a charged knockback jinx, hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it. How many of these voice actors are actually the people from the film as well? Because obviously, I mean, this is based on the film. But yeah, they're just kind of teaching some beginning game mechanics. You know, you got your Nintendo spell, you can do stuff. Oh. Is that a spider? Can I do anything about the spider? Like, they, they modeled a little tiny spider going around, but I don't think you can... Can you shoot the spider? Where is he? Nah, that spider is not... He's just scuttling around, man. People really hate spiders, by the way. Like, like I mean, I, I know I'm Australian. Spiders are kind of our, you know, our pets at home, but like... Legit, most spiders are not problems. Most. Just be careful, because it's like redbacks and huntsmen's and actually like really nasty ones sometimes. Isn't it weird that all these rooms are locking Harry in? It's just kind of weird. I'm never long bottom. Now for let me down here and then run through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flippendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. Oh, but yeah, just walk back in- okay. Walk back into the line of- line of target. Oh my gosh. Okay, th these guys are going a bit too fast for me. Oh, okay, now they're gone. Sure, okay. <laughs> the lever is around here somewhere. There, I found it. Oh wow! A li why? Why? Okay, real talk as well. Why is Hogwarts such a? I guess actually. Okay, okay, all right. Before I get ahead of myself, I never read any of the Harry Potter books. I just want to add that. But I did watch uh, watch the films as a young kid, kind of growing up. It's like this is a. Uh, a very late millennial to to Zuma kind of you know material. If you, if you have a lot of people who stand Harry Potter books and stuff like that, uh, you know, chances are they're not going to be older than like thirty right now. Maybe thirty-two. They might be your oldest. Uh, this can they can also be a, a lot younger than I am. 
Oh, maybe they could be a bit older. But, uh... A charge for Pendo not breaking might free Hegwood from those bars. It's bars? You, put, you put Hedwig in jail. What do you do? Uh, oh, there he is. Lependo. Bonk. Thank you, owl. Good old Hedwig. He's a lovely owl. I don't know how to train birds, but apparently every wizard knows how to do it really well. Um... I love how, like, you just get, like, rooms like this, where it's, like, some kind of weird and interesting architecture going on. I don't know why. Argonauts games have a lot of, like, just weirdly, like, roomy architecture. But it never manifests into, like, anything too much for the game. <laughs> no, why'd you just I drop? I rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping balls. Whoa, you can't use nice the F word you, like Neville. that, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry. Let's go. There is a bit of that, though, where it's like, if you watch the film, you know what they're referencing, but they just kind of gloss over it. Like, things that are unimportant for the game, and then there's things that they spend so much more time on in the game. Um, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Hedwig, I just freed you, and you just immediately go, Ah yes, here is a broom. Now Harry is a bit of a spoiled brat in the wow. film. Wow, Hedwig brought you a broomstick. I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. Wow, this is just immediate priority. Um, Harry's a bit of a spoiled brat in the film. He goes, gets a lot of stuff for free. It's the doorway to the flying lesson. Watch yourself, Harry. I hear Madam Hooch is really strict. I'm still waiting for my broomstick. Our stupid owl is ancient. It's going to take forever. I'll wait for you here. Okay, bro. And I don't even get any agency into going to the next area. He just he just goes in, so... Who decided to, like, make these pictures black and white or blue and white? I'm Madam Hooch, your teacher. Ooh, there is a man. half point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. Stay your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. Ah, yes, the cross First, button. fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. On my whistle, then. Alright, here we go. So this is, uh... Oh boy, I forgot how sensitive this is. And also, it's not inverted by default. And that was my fault, because I... Went through the uh, the options menu and didn't didn't abide by that. Also, uh, uh, yeah, remember that Empress Tomb Crew came... Reminder on the uh, ticking sound there. Ten house points for getting them all. Wow. The next test is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you succeed. Fly through each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three, two, one. But I feel like a lot of these movie tie-in games particularly, like, this is their strength. Kind of capturing the, uh, you know, the essence of what is in the films. And so it's like, well, Harry flies a broomstick in the film, so you gotta have... I'm flying a broomstick. There is a yellow bean just sitting there ominously, and I would love to, like, go and grab it. Maybe if there's, like, a pristine opportunity. Uh, that was probably my pristine opportunity. <laughs> oh, maybe this is it. There you go. Okay, cool. Oh, I went down all right. Oh, I should have seen it. Oh, you're kidding me. No, I was too busy getting the getting the gosh darn heckin' bean. I do believe you may have a natural talent for this. Ready for a tougher challenge? There are bonus house points for a perfect This is score. what I get. This is before, what I get. <laughs> fly through each of the magic hoops. Concentrate now. But I did get a bean, three, so... Two, yeah. one. <laughs> also, I guess, you know, couple it with uh, graphics and music. You know, that's, that's the, oh, that's your key bit for, you know, really any of these movie tie-ins. The gameplay, you know, <laughs> doesn't exactly have to be, uh, what's the term I'm looking for, uh, solid? <laughs> like, like, listen, we got the gameplay of Superman 64 going on, although it's a, it's, it's a bit more generous with the rings, and you can't accidentally skip rings and immediately fail because, uh, you know, you know how Superman 64 is, and oh boy, if I ever get into that one. 
Also, wow, that time limit. Well done, Potter. A good score. Five more house points for Gryffindor. You have mastered the basics of broomstick control. Now run along. You just gotta know, like, whether when the, uh, you know, the harsh points of the story are the, the critical points where it's like, oh, you gotta save here or else you'll never be able to get this right. Hi, Harry. Have you met Hermione yet? She's a real know-it-all. And a teacher's pet. No, I am not. I am not. I'm British. Charms class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? She's rather annoying, isn't she? Ron will never get the girls with that attitude. I will say, I will say, that everyone has, like, that kind of person. The, you know, the class clown. Everyone always knows one of those. Everyone always knows the, um, not the, not a necessarily a know-it-all, but definitely a, uh, and now there's a save point, by the way. Just, just, just to, just to get you in that. Do I get to see how much percentage of the game I am? I guess I gotta just hit it again. Uh... 12% already, so I, listen, I imagine this to be a two-stream affair for this game at least. Uh, but the big question is whether I, uh, you know, do, do the rest in some degree. Um, oh no, I forgot in my spell book. I'll catch you up, Harry. Just borrow, borrow Harry's, bro. Just say like, I, like, you know, my owl ate it or something like that. Easy, easy. But I feel like that's kind of like, you know, Harry Potter has that just- Get to the charms class before the timer runs out. Walk through the floating clocks to start the timer. Man, you know, like, what, what a video gamey kind of thing. Like, oh, you gotta get to class. Just, here you go, man. Have a platforming challenge on the way. Again, uh, I remember exactly, like, stuff in the Emperor's New Groove game was like this. The difference is that you could go back to old levels. This is just like, beat the whole game in one kind of, you know, you just go, you just proceed. Like, there's no levels, necessarily. Look at this shrimp boom! You must be Harry Potter. Welcome to Charms class. You're just in time. <laughs> Welcome, young wizard. I you can't get to class Fickwick, unless you do a platform challenge on some, on some desk, bro. Leviosa. Watch my one move and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the spell. Wingardium Leviosa. This just happens as well, where you, you just gotta learn a spell, but this is obviously not what you do to even to. cast the spell. Get ready. You just gotta like, I guess, effectively rhythm game it. Keep trying. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. I could just happen, so... Superb! Keep up now. It's going to get harder. And it's gonna get harder. That was good. Excellent. Now here's the thing, I guess. Perfect. I haven't played any of the other versions of this game in particular, well so... It's gonna be a bit of a mystery to me if I ever did play them. Butter, and but I feel like it'd be a, it'd be a fun to thing to compare three different releases... Possibly five if I really wanted to... ...of the same game and just be like... You know, what kinds of differences do they even do? Now, because they were all developed by different studios. I think they were developed by different sparkle. studios. I think they all were, yeah. And they're all independently developed. They didn't even, like, if you, want to change you know, like, I, I don't know what kind of stimulus they give some of these game developers when they're, um, you know, when they're making Try these games. Sometimes the it's like they just get concept art and told, like, here's the plot, just go for it, and you and you get access to the voice actors, you can make Press them say the whatever you want. But it's like, object. you know, they're taking their best shot at, like, what the film is actually gonna be. Um, so, you hit, uh... I should be paying attention, what'd you say? Sorry? Remember to keep the cross X. button to levitate the X. hourglass. Okay, okay. Wingardium Leviosa! So, uh, yeah, all your abilities, I think, are just context-dependent. I guess you gotta keep it floating up and well pop it down. Done. Five points to Gryffindor. They really love giving you house points, don't they? I mean, I remember, like, my school, my, like, uh, primary school used to do, like, house points. Um, I didn't really get in secondary school, but, like, my primary school did the house points thing, and it's like, bro, if I was a teacher, like, how many points do you give people for doing anything, really? Dear Harry, please meet me in the castle groans. 
You can get to the castle grounds through the front door of the castle. Pop around for a cup of tea and a chat. Cup of I tea. I have something important to tell you. Your friend, Hagrid. I do appreciate they always write year. So this is not a... Okay, I, I, I was thinking before I went into the class, like, was that a, a hidden door? But nah. So, we'll skip the save for the moment. We'll just keep walking. Um... But yeah, I got one kind of topic to talk about this week, and it's the, uh, the secret, uh, secretly putting, oh, how do I phrase it? The $70 price point is kind of cheekily being snuck in through a very unique fashion, and I think the weirdly perfect candidate Enjoy is Hogwarts Legacy, the game. Um, if I just pop this on the desk, is that, like, what they want? Okay, that's really not what they want me to do. I, uh, uh, that's not going more left. Wingardium Leviosa. I mean, my brain thinks that there's something to do with putting this somewhere, but, uh, this isn't really going anywhere. How about let's just... Oh, wow, that actually gets you house points. Cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, Hogwarts Legacy, uh, was released, um, a week and a bit ago. Um, and, uh, it, f it was a fairly quaint release. There wasn't really anything, you know noteworthy about it but the big thing that really like jumped out to me was um the fact that the game technically came out i think on the um on the 13th of february i think was the release date it might be different um but uh if you pre-ordered the special edition of the game the deluxe edition of the game you were able to play the game three days early now playing the game three days early doesn't seem like uh it's really, you know, to me, it doesn't feel like you're really gaining that much. You're just kind of, you know, playing the game a little bit earlier. But like, bro, I can wait three days, man. Samazar Slytherin. Samazar Slytherin. Samazar is a wonderful name, by the way. Um, <laughs> and, uh, by the way, I love how I've just wandered into like this area. And it's, I don't know if there's like goodies hiding here or whether this is like... <laughs> Off the top of my head, if this is an area that, like, you'd need to come back to later. I feel like it's an area you come back to later. Like, Watch what does this kid the say? Of armor. I think Peeves has been at work. I hope I never meet one. And this kid just runs off. He is afraid. There's still more of these, like, little hidden, you know, pathways all over the place. Sometimes they just lead all over the place as well. Like, I don't know, Help man. Me, Harry! Some nasty Slytherin student has charmed all of my chocolate frogs, pumpkins, and cauldrons into the air. This is the same Please child voice actor for everyone, by, by the using way. Using your knot batching to bring them down. Whoop. Oh my gosh, this is a bit of timing, isn't it? Ah. Bonk. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need some pumpkins, bro. I'm gonna need some pumpkins. I'm gonna need some pumpkins. I'm gonna need some pumpkins. You're gonna give me the pumpkins. Oh my gosh, where are the pumpkins? Give me another pumpkin. Give me another pumpkin. Are you kidding me? I, I need a pumpkin. Are you kidding me? You give me so many pots. You are not giving me any pumpkins. You are not giving me any more pumpkins. Oh, you tease. You tease. You tease game. Thank you, Harry. Here. Have my famous witches and wizards. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought that was it in the background. I was like, what? Um, but yeah. Uh, teasing early access. Um, to be honest, to me, it's it doesn't really mean too much. But... I feel like I know so many people that would really tempt it. They, this game was super duper hyped. And granted, it's been nominated as like a most hyped game uh, in a lot of circles. A lot of people were like, oh, I just, I've always wanted like an open world Harry Potter style game. Um, like, sure, okay. But I worry that it got, um, I guess, released early in the sense of uh, love Harry Potter. Ooh, nice, Matt. What boy? Uh, that is a pla- Oh, I guess I can jump up here, can't I? Whoop. I can't do anything. Oh. oh. His wand's gone premature again. Um, yeah, this game's pretty cool. 
I guess this is just a room where I get some beans. I'm thinking about those beans. Oh, did you just make the long leap back? Sure, okay. It's not really anything cheeky about going in there. Cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with, like, I guess wanting to play a game earlier because you're hyped, but I feel like a lot of people I know just bought into it. They went in, um, you know, wanting to play the game that early, and they ended up buying the Deluxe Edition even though they typically don't buy Deluxe Editions. Is that a, another save point? There are... Yeah, there's a save point inside and a save point outside. Very odd. Um, but sure, okay. Okay, game. Um, and so in doing so, even though that I, you know, it's not technically a, um, let's actually do a save here. Why not? Why not? Sure. Uh, even though technically the game, you know, came out three days later, I feel like so many of my friends played the game early that it's like, okay, well, I just consider it to be the earlier release date, but they've bought, they paid extra for the game just to get that early release date. And I worry that after a bit of time, we're going to start seeing games just normalize the higher price and just release, you know, when it comes out. I also love how this just casually well, well, goes to the foyer. We meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? A bit. This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me, no matter how hard you try. Trapped in a big scary castle, eh? Oh dear, I think Potter is going to cry. You know, as like a young kid, this used to be a big insult. Wingardium Leviosa. As an adult, I'm like, bro, why? We don't even know each other. <laughs> I'm just gonna put Wingardium this ba Leviosa. back on top, bro. I like this like little degree of a. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily puzzles. Oh wow! I just unlocked the door, and I just left apparently. Or oh, jeez! Ow! Time for a lesson, Potter. Let me teach you about wizard crackers. Oh, <laughs> you can't use that word. You're not leaving this castle until I have revenge. God, you can't call people that. Okay, and it's a boss fight. So, uh, oh boy, what, what were wizard crackers? You just throw them at them and pick them up, throw them back at them. He gives you frogs. I love how Harry, like, his diet is exclusively chocolate frogs. He does not eat anything else in this whole game. Crab. Take care <laughs> you, can't, you can't now, say crap. I'll give you a taste of my super wizard crackers. Ooh, he chucks super in front. And what was he doing back there? Why is the door sparking? Oh, it's like... Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a super one. Oh, he's dodged it, so... Uh, but yeah, I I have a, a worry that uh, the uh, the idea of the 70 US dollar price game is a, a bit more accepted purely when uh, a game has that early release. Um, and I do feel that, like, mm, in the future, are we just going to see games... Effectively, just not early access. They're just gonna be that price, and it's because we accepted it. Basically, I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking, you know, maybe like or I'm thinking too far in the future, and I'm also assuming a lot about uh, the audience of people playing. Um, so who knows? Maybe it's not as much a fear, but it's kind of like mm, you know, like I don't know many people who did just Crab, buy the regular you version of the game, me. or even better, Doyle, wait because you, you know, now we'll show this is there any reason to binge a game all. like all on day one? That's my general rule of thumb, it's like, eh, you know, <laughs> all of these games can usually wait. I can play Hogwarts Legacy at a later point in time, you know, no rush, really. Uh, oh. This is certainly a boss fight. That just happens, doesn't it? Like, you remember this part of the film? They, they do drop a lot of frogs. Like, I feel like it's not easy to lose this. Maybe it's a challenge to do it without getting hit. There you go. I have destroyed the, uh, the Aryan kid. And he has, uh, he has wandered off. I 
love how he's got like his two servants. Oh no! Are we gonna get the goof? Are we gonna get the gag? There it is. There it is. Classic. The best kind of gags are the ones that you can do without actually having to do any like more animation cycles. <laughs> Just having a guy running to the other side of the screen. Perfect. It's all you need. Meanwhile, the house point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Are slowly filling up. Like, mm. Okay, I don't know my my United Kingdom accents, but like where it goes from British to um, to Welsh Green to Scottish to Irish, I cannot tell you at, like what's the big differences. And obviously in England, you know, buff. London is different to. Uh, I was gonna say Gloucester. That's. I don't know, man. Did I just make up a an English city? The North Side. Not Edinburgh, though, because that's actually not. Scotland. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, your house points are in the lead on house points. Your house points get dropped in here. The house cup for a seventh consecutive year. Seventh, seventh year. Again, bonus. Worth mentioning again. The house points seem very arbitrary because I'm just like getting house points for like. You know, flying through rings. Like, everyone's gonna do that, so... Anyway, here's the outside of the castle. Finally, some... some outdoors. And... Oh, Harry, oh there he is! Good to see you. There These are the Hogwarts castle grounds, and Hogwarts. I'm the gamekeeper, of course. You'll need to attend your herbology class. Professor Sprout's in the greenhouse waiting for you. Come round my hut later for tea. I've something to ask you. My hut's in the grounds. <laughs> he's such a lad he's such a unit I love him oh the PS1 Hagrid model is such a sight to behold oh I'm glad you all have witnesses right now and I love how it's like yep okay now you've got a now you got a challenge Flipendo. and they don't make it easy getting, getting back here do they And they put some beans in the corners, except these are differently colored beans, I guess. Alright, time to get the platforming out of the way. Here we go. So, yeah. Uh, moral of the story is, it's not really too much I want to say, but, uh... Definitely with the Hogwarts Legacy, and I've seen I've seen it with other games as well. So I don't want to say it's just Hogwarts Legacy being the first game to do the uh, pay pre-order and just play the game early. Because I know um uh, was it like Battlefield 2042 did that? Um, what's another game that did that? You can play it earlier. Uh, you'll, you'll probably know some examples. It's a weird marketing point, and the weirdest part for the Hogwarts Legacy. Hold on, I gotta focus on rhythm for a moment. Boom, 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 boom. That was good. Excellent. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, this is not in tune at all. Perfect. But sure. Okay. Um, but I remember. Uh, Most impressive. Uh, oh no, train of thought, train of thought. Hold on, I'll come back to me after this that one. That was good. Uh, Excellent. But yeah, the, they didn't even have drivers out. I mean, Perfect. Intel actually had the, the drivers for their art graphics cards, which uh, le led to a you very funny tech power-up article about the performance of Hogwarts Legacy, the where the, the, um, uh, the... A770 had better ray tracing performance than Let's every AMD card, room, including the newest one, bulb. and it was better Use than the 3070, the bulb by the door. which is like... The oh, I, actually, I think, wasn't there? I think it was better than the 3070 the Ti in the ray tracing. It was remarkably good, and it was purely because the drivers were not out when the game was being played by a lot of people. So, uh, here's Incendio! the next... Here's the next context-sensitive action. You gotta, uh... There's a circle going around, and you gotta Excellent. you gotta hit the buttons five when it crosses the circle, and you get some five points because apparently I set the eggplant on fire, and the eggplant turned into a smaller eggplant. Hi there, kid. Quidditch training yet? This year they're even letting first years train. You should have a go. I hear you're pretty good on a broomstick. On a broomstick. A broomstick. Oh, they got these uh. Red fireflies? I don't know. Bees? They're not bees at all, they're butterflies. Um, I 
don't know if this ghost, like I'm right there. I think I am right here at the Quidditch train pitch. Look how small it is because they needed to surround it Welcome, with, Mr. Potter. with building. Grab your broomstick and we'll begin the training. Okay, okay. Welcome to Quidditch training. Whichever seeker catches the golden snitch scores his team 150 points. Okay, I never understood the Quidditch rules. Which is why seekers tend to get fouled so much. For your first seeker training, let's practice chasing the snitch. Fly through ten hoops generated by the golden snitch. Get ten set. hoops. Three, so, but yeah, two, I never understood Quidditch one. because it was basically like you had like teams of like five or six people. You had like a goalie, you had like two like hunters or something. But it's like you fly around and you pass the quaffle, sure. And you throw it in the goal and you get 10, 20 or 30 points. Sure. But you got the, the bludgers. They are... Uh, they're just... There's just these balls that injure people, because why not? But, you know, sure, okay. Um, I love how fast you go! Excellent. After you go through all the, the things as well. Wings and 25, house 25 points! What? And would you look at that? It's a snitch. You just Time keep the snitch. Second seeker training lesson. Uh, but yeah, like, you, you can get 30 points with a goal, sure. But now, the seekers are both chasing it. the snitch. And if now you get the snitch, you get 150 points, hit the cross and the, the game just ends. Your hand. On my mark, three, two, one. So it's just like, okay, like the game ends immediately, which means if you can get it right right away, which in the films, it's always right away. Harry always gets the snitch when they're not 150 points behind at least. So it's like, well, it doesn't matter what the other guys are doing. Just play ultra defensively and just wait for the snitch to come in, I guess. But, uh, it also feels like, oh. All right, cool, I'm losing all my speed. I'll catch up, I'll catch up. I'll catch up, bro, I'll catch up. It's all good. Um, It's a bit weird as Harry just continually moves further away from the camera. So then when you go through enough rings and you're close enough, then you gotta do this thing where you just gotta hit X when... Uh, it like... Pounces Excellent. close on that bar and that's that performance, it. You've earned gold wings and 25 house points to Gryffindor. It just happens, but... Sure, okay. Different, different Harry Potter games will all have different In controls. You should match, not just veer up to someone. The golden snitch wins his team 150 points. This often results in that seeker's team winning the match. So often results. Now, let's see how you manage catching a snitch while racing no. against another seeker. Listen, I'd be terrified flying around a broom. It just feels okay. like too sensitive, Ready? you know. Three, two, also, I'm one. deeply afraid of heights, so this ain't working out for me. But I think, yeah, when you're doing it. In reality, it's like both you and this guy are kind of pushing each other, going about. I did like, okay, real talk, the actual, like, movies, you know, they range in quality and they range in preference, I think is definitely a, uh, a big thing. I'm not really a big, like, movies guy, so I can't tell you, like, you know, which film has the best cinematography and that kind of stuff, but I really do dig the first two because I think there is something, like, wonderfully fantastical about uh, these films uh, just in terms of like a hey there's stuff going on and some of it's CGI and some of it's puppets and they do a real good job of kind of you know utilizing the CG in a way I think it was it's in that fun period where it's like the technology is there enough that it kind of you can do the things you want you can decently capture what makes Harry Potter Harry Potter but they also still knew that they had some limits, some boundaries. Alright, time to just hit X when the thing goes all the way to the left like that, and that was Excellent. it. For that performance, you've earned gold wings and 25 See, she just, house she just chucked me 75 house points in like one fell swoop. Or three fell swoops, rather, but... Run along then, Mr. Potter. The Quidditch training doors are always open for you. Are they always open? Really? Really? Meanwhile, Hagrid is just, like, sitting there with the tea. Blimey, I sure hope that boy Harry Potter comes to my... my shack, so I can give him my tea. He sure is taking his sweet time. You know, you know how Hagrid is. Good old PS1 Hagrid. 
but yeah, no. I really dig the second film in particular because I I, I like the um, kind of murder mystery I guess they're going with. The password for the portrait, Harry. Bring us blue every flavor beans. But watch yourself. There are some weird creatures running around out there. I'm actually curious. Like, do I need to like go back and like give them the beans for the yellow area? Because if I hit pause, you'll see that there's like 40 out of 50 beans. I I think off the top of my head, I think the beans correspond to like the kind of section of the game you're on. So there's like the first kind of quarter of the game that just takes place inside the castle. And yes, I know I'm saying first quarter of the game, and I've, I've been streaming for 50 minutes. This isn't a very long game, I just want to reiterate. Um, I guess there's also more beans in the Great Hall, but... Yeah, it's like, it's not, it's not too deeply complex of a game, I guess. You can, you can easily beat it in a, in a decent afternoon if you're committing to it. And wow, that's a frame rate. That is a frame rate and a half. That is a texture and a half. That should... Oh boy. PS1 textures, when they warp, they warp so harsh. Um, they couldn't do the chairs in this room, but they did put enough effort to have enough, like, floating candles. Um, yeah, once I look at the walls, it's all fine, so... There's a little house points. I do remember they were back there. And there's no doors at the back of the... At the back of the, um... You know, the Great Hall. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I really did dig the second one. I think it, it rode the line fairly well. My problem with the first film is uh, perhaps there's a bit too much uh, exploring around adventuring and not as much, uh, well, I guess the characters kind of learn a little bit, but, you know, there's only so much you can do for a first film. We'll just say that. Um, Well, I seem to have more than 50 beans, so... Mr. Potter, your celebrity status does not grant you snooping rights. A sloth brain has gone missing from my classroom. No potions lessen until it is returned. I'm going in. Oh, he's got a wall behind him. Darn. It's interesting that you can kind of walk around here and then he's like, Ah, uh, nah, I do not have my sloth brain. That's a... That's my snipe voice, apparently. Um, but yeah. I don't have too many thoughts on, I guess, like, how Harry Potter goes overall. Because it's just like... You know, you can clearly tell that at some point... Uh, the films... Uh, well, I guess... What is it? The first film got made when the fourth book was written? So I feel like, you know, that there's a certain degree of... Oh, you know, people responded to this way about the films. Like, a new audience all of a sudden liked this... Bro, where's the bros? Password? Caput Draconis! Oh, I know the password all of a sudden. Oh, I guess this is the Gryffindor common room. I kind of should know it. What a wonderful room, you know? Weirdly massive, there's Thanks frogs the going Emacs everywhere. Flavor beans. The password for the portrait of the old posh baron is Fizzy Pop. Hope you find the portrait. It'll be worth it. See you around. Okay, real talk. This is not a safe password. Your password should consist of 32 alphanumeric slash symbol character letters. Um, just, you know, all all scattered Please around. Keep the common room tidy. Okay, sure. Um, <laughs> Please use a password manager to maintain... Oh, this is the, the, the Maggie. Cornelius Agrippa, 1486 to 1535. Celebrated wizard imprisoned by muggles for his writings. Never write. That is the key to everything, isn't it? They got some nice chairs though. But uh, isn't that kind of weird that like you load this whole area just for this one tiny room? Like, I don't know. I feel like on the PS1 you can stream in audio fairly fine. So if someone wants to talk, you just stream that in. I mean, you got the times 2 drive, so you can, like, play music, or you know, even better if the music is not even, uh, you know, uh, Red Book. It just plays, plays audio, I guess. Plays, like, little, little, you know, sound chips, sound, sound bits. Um, yeah. 
here am I like stream of consciousness just kind of ripping on like how do ps1 games work this game man it's so short you know so simple but then it's just like yeah i like it anyways well done young sir that's the correct password let's see if i can get these old hinges working oh my goodness would you even risk going inside this painting that has never opened up for anyone else just boy gets lost in the middle of the castle so I believe this is an optional room, so to speak, but that's some fun stuff with these optionals if I've got the beans to do it. So just casually, the Nimbus 2000 is hiding behind this guy. Now I remember on the Chamber of Secrets game on the Xbox, and I don't believe it carries over into this game. Um, but on that one, that used to have a mechanic right at the end of the game where you could fly around on your broom around the whole castle of hogwarts and you'd kind of poke holes at like oh okay like the castle is just not as big as you know perhaps it could be but it's also kind of neatly impressive just how like you know being able to fly around really grants you that like freedom you were never really expecting um so okay so these two are in the next area and they're gonna tell them or not no they are and they're gonna tell me to get the beans so i'm gonna be thinking about those beans my poor kitten has fallen down the well. I can't reach her. My brain just thought, I'll help you and it's push him down. down there. Will you help me? If I'm not a very kind well, guy. I, I would be that guy to her. all the kids, apparently. Oh my gosh. Time to drink mysterious liquids that are placed on the ground. So I believe, is this a health potion? I think it is just a health potion. I think it is just a health potion. Like, it's, it's more healing than the... Um, than the frogs do, except that's frogs everywhere, so, um, but yeah, I did really enjoy the, oh my goodness, day. look at that thing. But Fred and George used it for bludger practice. Oh my goodness, that thing's so cute, hello. Puff skeins, friendly fellas, but they have a large appetite. Hagrid. Look at this little cute thing. Ah! Oh, Harry hates bushes. So I believe this thing, I think you can get him to eat the bushes. If you go up to the bush. And then you kind of walk past the bush. Yeah, yeah, he starts eating it all up. And then he poops out a bean. You know, naturally. Would you trust the beans that this thing ate? I want to know where people get these burp sound effects though, I'll tell you. hungry lad I'll tell you that so uh, I think this is bush eating practice you must eat all the bushes oh my gosh you dumpy plant thing this guy is just like one of my wacky spore creations I tell you he's nothing he's nothing more than that he's gonna do a fun dance and woo on all the enemy all the opposing you know opposing species and then eventually nuke them all out of existence in the civilization stage. I love, like, uh... Reports of, like... Well, not reports, but, like, there were, like, reviews of, like, when Spore came out. They were, like, every, uh... I think Yahtzee's review of this. Is, uh... Probably telling one. He's just, like, every, like, stage just, like, rips off a better game. And he just says the civilization stage clearly rips off civilization. It's just, like... Civilization's a 4X game, and, uh... The, the civilization stage is just the same as the tribal stage. You can either win over your opponents, friendship-wise, or blow them up in a real-time strategy, like, scenario. It's not deeply complex, but it's also, like, it's not, it's, it's not what Civ does. Although maybe I haven't played, like, a ton of Civ 4, so maybe, I don't know, is Civ 4 that simple? This guy, he doesn't want to continue going on. He's, he's stuck. He's lost. Makes sense to be honest, because this goes into the next kind of area. Hi there, Hagrid. There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. I failed because Harry, of you can and you fetch your me silly some fire nose. Seeds from a rare plant in the forest. The plant lives just beyond the gargoyle gate. Gargoyle gate. Some very strange goings on of late. Be careful, Harry. Why would you invite this, like, first-year kid who has done, like, two classes <laughs> to, like, 
do this. Like, come on, bro. That's not the gargoyle gate, is it? I wonder if Hagrid's had something fun while I... Okay, it has nothing fun. Bro, he can barely fit in the door. Like, Harry's decently tall. He could, he could fit through that, so... This is what I mean about, like, how the level design does remind me. Because, like, Croc and all that stuff... He turned into That's a bean. Way, Harry. There's, a, there's a huge monster down there. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Um, but you see what I mean? Where it's like... Not that there's a grid-based design to the... To the level. Oh, here's your little hidden painting. Sure. Hello. You're a Gryffindor student, aren't you? Nice to see a new face. Okay. If you want to proceed, you'll need to know my password. Sure. Once you have it, come see me and I'll open for you. Cool. I'll just hang around here for a while. <laughs> Good luck, young Gryffindor. Alright, you gotta do a painting pun with me. Uh... Uh... I'm feeling funky fresco. <laughs> that's a... That's a terrible pun. That's terrible. Um... But you see what I mean about like how, like... There is perhaps a grid you can spot? There's a bit of, like, you know, tessellation in the sense of, like, oh, like, the... the surroundings kind of, you know, jut out in some way, but... You see what I mean about the grid? And you see what I mean about the, uh, magical hidden wall here? It really taunts me because there's a... There's a magical card above, and I couldn't get to it. I'm always worried that, like, I'm about to wander into, like, a shortcut. Yeah, that actually... No, that's not even a shortcut. That just spits you out exactly where you are. Because I remember, I and I can't tell you if it was this one or the Chamber of Secrets game. But, like, there, there's just, like, one bit where, like, yeah, if you accidentally go down one secret, you just end up skipping a fair bit of the game. Like, just a whole thing happens. And you're like, oh, okay. It's fine. It's like, you know, oh, okay, speedrunning strats, but... Oh, my goodness, the evil wizard. He has turned the pig statues alive. I shall now cast Flipendo a bunch. Or you can just kind of jump around, I guess. Flipendo. Flipendo. He's just going to dash around, is he? Some very croc music, isn't it? Oh, he has tripped me over because he is a pig. Uh, any reason why he took damage on that one? That felt a bit odd. Get off, Croc. If it wasn't... I feel like I did a good job on those Let's Plays back in the day. I don't have a huge intention to go back and play them again. I love how he will come back to life as well if you don't put him back in. Just to really annoy you. He's thinking about those beans. Heck yeah, beans. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I always feel... Because I guess like... You know, Argonaut didn't live for too much longer after this game. They made quite a bunch of other licensed games just to try and, you know, keep afloat. Uh, ultimately, I think uh, the Catwoman game was the very last one they made. And uh, I can I can attest from a bit of experience that game... Uh, yeah, it should have been left on the, on the uh, drawing board. It, it just feels awfully rushed. Like they were just like, well, this is what we think we can do. And they just had to do it because that's what you do. You have to pretty much release something. You get told so far off if you don't release a game. Also, lava, just just cash. That is some good lava. Argonaut do great lava. They they deserve props for having brilliant lava all the time. So I'm gonna put in the effort to make this lava hallway, and I'm gonna commend them. Oh my gosh, more squishies! It's all over the place. A whole family of squishies. Also, did they- did- did Ron say earlier he used to have one as a pet until his, like, older brothers used it for basically, like, target practice? That sounds a bit cruel, doesn't it? Harry and the, uh, mystical air vent that levitates him. So 
I believe you can wake this guy up, who then gets very upset, and he starts chasing you, I think. I don't know, do you put him on the air vent? And, uh, he is now... Oh, he is now clogging the air vent, causing this one to be a lot stronger. Yeah, okay. Any reason why there's, like, four other ones up here? Could be, you know, circling back. As a Russian meme, fake translation of this game once said, <laughs> There is, there is a lot of just, like, what am I looking at when it comes to, like, this... Like, look at these beans. They ju they just intend for you to jump off this platform twice. Pick up these beans. Sure, okay. But, uh, yeah. How you doing, Crip? Ooh, I'm gonna need some more, some more goodies over here, am I? Uh. Ah, I see. I see. So let's get him to eat. Eat the berry bush. And he becomes rather large. He just becomes decently large for some reason. These bushes are, you know, they make him big. And they keep coming back, but, uh, you know, he determines that that's his, that's his calling right there. You know what I mean from old Harry Potter game with the Allen words? Oh, oh, okay, I get it. You can- no, 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 you- you- he just went- he just went to eat the plant. I just wanted him to fill the tiny little hole over here, and he's not gonna fill this tiny little hole, he's just gonna go- Is he gonna fit in the hole now? Are you too big for the hole? I think he's too big for the hole. Oh, can I- I can- I can push the fat out of him. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I'm thinking that this uh, small ledge up here is a bit of a... Well, okay, that's a required secret in the sense of that door over there has a lock. And now it doesn't. Nice. Good thing there's a box with a lot of beans in it. And they're all the same color. This is a every flavor beans bean product. You know, the gag in the, the, the film is like, oh, every, you know, like, there's, there's like hair flavor. It's like all these icky flavors. And then it's just like, oh, they're, they're, these are all like just purple. You think that would make more money selling the same flavor bean all the, all the time. You only stream on Twitch. I saw that sometimes you're talking with someone without comments in chat. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I talk to myself or for a future YouTuber audience. Um... So that that's why I usually ramble by myself. It's it is not because I am insane. It is not because I always talk to myself. You don't have to be insane if you talk to yourself. But uh, I like having some topics just to, like fill the the dead space if I don't have like comments and stuff going on in the, the Twitch chat. And then uh, it's just nice because like yeah, you, someone viewing later on YouTube. Yeah, for use maybe. Oh. It's good to it's good to have a live chat as well. Unless you watch both, in which case you get a double conversation. Look at- this is what Hagrid wanted Harry to do. They're trying to ban Twit- Oh, like ban in Russia- Ah, oh, dude, rip. That- I don't know what to, like- Like- How do- how do I- how do I phrase it? I understand why. I don't really agree on- banning Twitch in the sense of like, hey, you know, I produce media and I believe my media to be very, you know, geographic agnostic. I don't think there's really anything about my media that anyone in any country would say is like hugely objectionable. Maybe, maybe you might disagree with some of my like worldviews, but like I got nothing against like really, you know, anyone watching, you know, my stuff really. Like some people get very antsy about that. I have to, like, press the button just a little bit early. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what? <laughs> you gotta press the button just, like, a bit ahead of time. I don't know if... You're probably not hearing my controller. At least the combination of the buttons remains the same after you keep botching up. So, 
I got to figure that one out after a while. But yeah, no, if, if they actually, like, hard ban Twitch, um, I guess the, uh, you know, feel free to, and this is actually a fun thing for all of you at home. If you want to, like, send me something personally, as, as, like, looking at the guy with cancer is about to die, whether you don't know what to say or the fact he's seeing. Um, yeah, no, I, I 100% agree in the sense of just, like, you know, what do you say? There's, you know, it's not easy to know what to say in this scenario. Um, but I, I would also say, you know, it's not forever goodbye from me in the sense of, uh, you can easily, uh, contact me on, uh, I don't, I don't think YouTube's got private messages anymore, but, uh, like, and I'll mention this one. If you, if you want to email me anything, or you just want to, like, send something to me, uh, you can either, I just want to, like, look back, because I thought, like, this is, like, a quick way to get back that didn't involve just actually backtracking over everything. If you want to, like, give me an email, it is actually, and I, I, I this, this is open, it's bndao at bndao.com. It's a, uh, you know, it's a fairly, uh, well, I guess it's a custom email, it's not a email email, so it's not, it's not a throwaway. I am dedicating bndao at bndao.com to, you know, anything. Just, like, you know, say hi, whatever, send me, you know, cool things, and I'll, you know. Maybe mention them on the next stream if, uh, if you want. Uh, you can always leave comments on YouTube. I also have my, uh, Pleroma instance. Uh, and... I guess, except for some, like, great firewall business, if they, like, actively stop you from accessing a lot of internet sites, just overall, um, you can message me, or you can follow what I'm saying at, and actually chat to me on Pleroma, uh, on m.bndo.com. That's m for... I guess it's M for Mastodon, but, uh, yeah, I've got that instance set up, so, uh, even if they, even if they ban, I'm actually curious if I should set up, like, if I, I should see if I can try and do, like, a live chat, um, or, like, a cross stream on other services, or, like, self-hosted streaming, um, just to get around that as well, because, like, I've always felt, you know, not everyone's, uh, 100% comfortable and on board with Twitch as, like, a streaming platform, and... I know this thing is like multi-Twitch out there, or mul is it multi-Twitch, multi- I think it's- I think it's multi-stream or something. But there's services out there that do help with kind of streaming to multiple platforms. I don't know if they're necessarily cheap or reliable, and that's why I kind of stream just directly to Twitch. Um, but yeah, I would love to like consider, you know, additional options just to, you know, broaden out the, the reach, and especially if Twitch is banned in your country. Um, because unfortunately there's a lot of websites that don't like working if you don't, well, sometimes, uh, okay, okay, here's, here's another pro tip. If they do ban Twitch, see if they ban Twitch purely by DNS resolution. Uh, what I mean is like, um, are they banning Twitch as in you accessing the server? Or are they, they need to be ashamed of what they're doing. They were the guy who got, uh, banned, shadow banned from Twitch five times for burning gas in lifetime. Okay, I might have missed a bit of context. Gas, burning gas in real time. I might have missed the context on like what kind of gas we're burning right now. Um, or like who's doing it as well. But I, do I, I hate shadow banning. I would prefer just like tell me I'm doing Hello, something wrong Harry. and I will change my behavior. Or kind of object and just kind of not stream. But like when you shadow ban, it's like... So I am just get. Oh my gosh, beans! I'm thinking about these beans. Oh my gosh, I'm being hunted by onions. Oh my gosh, can I pick up the bean? Well, that was a tough challenge. Common gas for home. Well done, Harry. You collected all the Bertie Box beans. You've earned a famous witches and wizards card for your troubles. Wait, so so, so who they shadow ban and and burning common gas in your home, like just setting the stove in response to gas? Oh, oh yeah. Scamander. Yeah, no, uh, I, I like, like, I think it's a complex situation in the sense of. There's a lot going on, but I feel like just stuff like, I don't know why serving gas is like... Wow. So I, I am so laissez on fair when it comes to like sanctions. I'm just like, bro, I wouldn't like stop sending them bread and gas. Like, 
But then it's also just like, well, I mean, why stop selling video games over there, for example? Or because like I'm pretty sure uh, Disney's pulled their stuff um, from from Russia. It's just like an entertainment thing, well, and I kind of go like, Harry, you're why? The fire seeds. To no, me, I, I personally go, you hey, you're taking this our secret, mind you. Shadow ban him Come five inside, times Harry, for burning gas. Your feet time. now. I'm not too sure if there's a translation well, issue, home, like it's small but still rude. Because you're saying like him, and I don't know eh? who exactly. I got this but... from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon egg. A dragon I need egg. Some fire seeds to give it that last oh burst gosh. of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. But yeah, I like. I don't like the idea of re you know restricting access to things. Like if, if you're a guy Harry, willing to, it's hatching. If you, if you if you're willing to pay for gas, like you know, there's a lot to it, I guess. And and my worldview is probably uh, super narrow and simple, but you know that's. Uh, hey, lovely. I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Norwegian Harry, Ridgeback. You're a true friend. If he was called, if he was Finnish, would you call him like Finian? Ages. If he was Swedish, you'd call him Swedlington. I don't know what's a, what's the mm, name with I'll Sweden. Norbert is first feed soon. I'll see you later, Harry. Thanks again. Does this dragon ever come back in any form of Harry Potter media? Because I feel like a dragon takes a long time to grow large, and so it, he's never large by. You know, by the time of the end of the, the film. Sup, Power Games? How's it going? He's got the games that are filled with power. So we're just chilling, Harry Pottering. Look at this magical wall that you can just spot a mile away. <laughs> The weirdest part, I played the, um, the Empress New Groove game, like, in my own time, like, a few years ago. There was a streamer response on- sorry. There was a streamer who, for response for EU strength from the Russian people, so I had to burn gas in real time to see when their gas costed 2k EU. This game's pretty cool. This game is pretty cool. Ah, okay. Alright. And then they got shadow banned from Twitch because they were pulling a, like, a political statement. Is that- is that what they were going for? Can I actually do anything about these? Because I was going to say the last room had a had a card kind of floating up there, up here. That's a fun ceiling thing, but they're laughing at me. <laughs> but yeah, no, this game is pretty cool. Follow me, Harry. You'll never guess what I found. Um, a cat. I hope it's a cat. I shall proceed to ignore you, Ronald, Ronaldo, Weasley. And and, and again, like a, enter a different map. Hello, Harry. The loading screens are quick, but the dirty box beans, but mind the bouncing bulbs. If they bump you, you'll lose some of your beans. They literally ban Oh, if you got a Putin photo. Yeah, oh, yeah. I I don't like I don't personally agree to it, but like I I see where others uh like thinking at I mean it's just like a photo like that's I don't know man I could have a photo of a lot of different things I do feel is is my general political statement I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with I mean, they can't ban it. Oh, so they pull the whole shadow ban thing because they don't legitimately have a reason. Ah, that's a that's a big issue with shadow banning. Is uh, it's it's a it's a sleight of hand with the rules. Morgan the You know, you're using the service for free, so therefore, you know, anything that's not in the rules is really kind of their jurisdiction, as long as they're not really screwing you out of the rest of the rules. Uh, and uh, nothing in the rules really says you are guaranteed so much traffic. So much, you know, audience. So, shadow banning away is always a is always a tactic. Um, yeah, no, that sucks. I, they should. I like. I do wish that there was a great like competitor to like Twitch and YouTube because I worry that there is too much focus on. Oh, it's the actual like, this Quidditch is the pitch. This to the Quidditch pitch, but first years like us aren't allowed to play. Isn't that like 
Didn't they say? I hear they make exceptions sometimes, though. But only if you are very, very good. I caught the snitch Here three times. Neville. He looks quite upset. Let's go and see what We have seen wants. Neville three times. We have seen Hermione once. She just walked into... Po into Malfoy stole my remember all. <laughs> my remember all. the school grounds with it. I need the remember all to find my toad. I always thought the remember all was just me. like a magical, oh, like, PDA. I'll show you where he and went. <laughs> PDAs were, uh... The big thing in the early 2000s, you'd have like a like a little device and you'd do like, it's like a little calendar. You just put your stuff in it and then you can remember it. And then uh, someone invented Wi-Fi and so cloud syncing. Has gone sniveling to you and you want me to give you his precious remember -all. Malfoy did not write a broom in the first, uh, about in the first film. A tree. Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. To see the and you better watch out for my bludgers. <laughs> Square to bash. I'm going to bash him. Bonk. Oh, he's throwing like bludges at you. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> it's just, it's so weird. It's just like bonk. Look at his face on the bottom when you hit him. <laughs> it's very upsetting that I'm doing this. Bonk. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do wish that there were better competitors. I know there's, um, for, for a direct, like, YouTube competitor, uh, I hear Odyssey is decent. Oh, this is what I get under saying on the YouTube Partnership Program. YouTube, okay, alright, real talk. The YouTube Partnership Program doesn't necessarily, like, tell me off for, uh, this isn't really a promotion, this is more just a discussion. How about we'll just say that? I'm not exactly <laughs> encouraging anything on other services yeah, but i do think youtube you needs sweat. competition because i think youtube with the context of competitors you know could be a better service there's a problem with youtube has no idea what people want because no one uses other services that have features people want so therefore the people don't know what they want that is a very common software problem and something that really i don't know why so many companies keep getting into monopolies other than it makes someone really high up a lot of money Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Uh, so, uh, his face, oh yeah, he did bog. Yeah. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. I've been eating toads the whole game. <laughs> Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you just beat up this kid on a broomstick, but you know you did it really well. In so. your case, we might overlook that rule. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. Why is it a Your rule? You could just say like most first years are just bad. You can just say that, like, or is it like a liability thing? But if it's a liability thing, you would never do an exception. Like, if a second year gets hurt, why is that wow. okay? You're going to play Quidditch, and as a seeker too. I just wanted to wish you good See luck, See if you really Harry. don't live glasses. Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. As soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hut and give you a big She's congratulations. I know you'll catch the snitch first, I just know it. Thanks, T9. But, uh, yeah, I, I, know, um, I know Odyssey is like a decent YouTube competitor. Um, my only thing with Odyssey is that there's a bit, like, too much, uh, well, it's not actually that much, you can kind of start ignoring it if you go to, like, you know, the gaming section, it's decently just wholesome gaming content, um, it's just that, yeah, you're gonna see stuff on the front page about the, uh, the YouTube banned us for saying this political statement kinds of, you know, videos, and as much as, like, you know, I think there's a place for those kinds of videos, and obviously, you know, some, if you can't say it on YouTube, you're going to find another place to say that stuff. But to me, I just want to see, like, different sites having gaming content, for example. I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't really watch a ton of political content, so it's just like, oh, okay. Um, so I feel like Odyssey, as long as they play their cards right, and they just kind of brand it as, like, we're just like YouTube, 
We have the same kinds of features as YouTube. We have good uptime and reliability, which seems to be a good case right now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just be fair on the creators. I love how we're just getting the Quidditch right now, but it's like, yeah, like... Nothing changed. The whole game has been Superman 64. I tell ya. So how this works is uh, you go through three speeds of stuff. At least... At least they have... You've been banned from the Mickey Mouse Club for what behavior. Well, the trick is to just say, like, uh, you know... It's, it's, not, it's not necessarily inappropriate behavior as much as... Uh, uh, difficult to monetize behavior, which I feel like is a, a big kind of, uh, what is it, not an irony, I feel like hypocrisy is a harsh word, but we'll just go with that, where it's like, what is, like, advertiser-friendly content is a very subjective thing, and, uh, there is a plenty amount of content that, uh, various big content creators do that, uh, if you're a little content creator, you can't get away with. It's a bit of a shame that that's, you know, the case, but, you know, to that I go, stuff it, you know, open up additional, uh, revenue streams for yourself if you do this full time. This is the, it's the easiest thing to catch a snitch. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like, hey, if you're a content creator and you actually really, really, really want to, like, support yourself, like, open up, like, Patreon or any kinds of, like, maybe not Patreon, probably, you know, war crimes said the end. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. Yeah, I like okay, real talk. The fact that all of this conversation started the moment PewDiePie said the N-word on that bridge in PUBG is like Well now, it's the most wackiest the thing because it's Mr. like there Potter. is so much questionable content before name. and it's after Snape. That is just like all about you, it's boy. still it's still fine apparently. Book in your but <laughs> but hand. the N word, PewDiePie saying the N word, was like the straw apparently from the library. I'll just confiscate that. Thank you. Oh, that's a, it's a fun time. It's a fun time dealing with advertiser friendly stuff. But I don't know. I feel like I'm in a decently safe as spot as because I don't do. Recovered, we'll start I mean, I, like I have monetization on my videos, but it's just like I just do it for funsies. Advertisers pay me peanuts for my views anyway. They pay me like uh, 15 cents per hey, thousand views and I do not that. get close to a thousand Hold views on. on any of my this videos. Is and George's handiwork. Some piece the map shows there is a forgotten area around here. I wonder if it could be behind that old rusty door. That rusty door you say? Oh, okay. We're going to the rusty door. The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Well, here goes. Alahamora. There is a spell that just opens doors. What is lock picking? Now, look, I've opened that rusty door. Come oh, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like there has been a. I don't want to get into like crazy politics, but there has been a very recent trend of people getting away and promoting this idea of targeted historic. Uh, Harassment, we'll just say. Harassment might be a, like, too catch-all term, but... You know what I mean? And, and it's happened to me, and it's like, uh, you know, like... Wow. Once you get, this is where once you get through it the first, the first time, you're like, eh, Let's like, it really doesn't matter. There's gonna be a lot of people who say, like, a lot of trash about me on, on the internet. And you know what? Like, as long as one guy likes me, I don't mind too much, you know. These people have no power over me. They're just voices on the internet. So... Darth Maul begging for mercy in the Clone Wars. Yeah, something like that. Look at Venomous this. Venomous tentacular. Beware, Hagrid. So is the trick to just ne- Oh my goodness, jeez, bro. Is the trick to just never go where- <laughs> Where Ron goes? Incendio! Yeah. Oh, I can get this guy first go, though. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of topics about this. Uh, I guess the the recent trend in some uh, some circles has been specifically about a, a game uh, relating to this game that I've played, where people are going out of their way to uh, tell people off for playing uh, that kind of game. Uh, but to that, it's like, you know, 
the easiest thing you can do as a content creator is to li just sh shut them out of your uh, your mind, let's say. You may not be able to fully get rid of every single one of them on like Twitter or stuff like that, but you, d you don't have to appease people who are just not, you know, appreciating the stuff you do anyways. So don't worry about that. Um, hey, here's some puffer pods. They're great fun to throw about. Now, it kind of sucks sometimes when it too. comes from a direct best friend. But again, uh, you know, you hear them out of your mind. I, these, what did Ron say? I was not listening very much, but I apparently can throw these things. I assume that he's just telling me about these. Because there's not really anything I can do with them right now. But yeah, like, uh... Puffer pod patch. Good fun to throw around. Hagrid. Thanks, Hagrid. Um... Honkling? Honk? Oh my gosh. Poor clumps. Only approach with a Wingardium Leviosa spell. Hagrid. Why are we, like, Leviosa. casually, like, going through the ground to go and, oh, look at all these, like, bizarre... Oh. Oh, does he, does he eat the, the beans Wingardium back up? Leviosa. I gotta move him too far away. He does, he does eat the beans back up. You jerk. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh my gosh, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a bit of politics. It's a bit of just like, and, and not just politics, but also like... Drama. In the sense of... Wingardium you know, one, once you know how to like recognize and deal with drama it's kind of like you know it seems petty it does seem like you know this kind of stuff really shouldn't be happening and a lot of people i'm seeing are just like they just don't see the problem they don't see the uh you know the issue with uh harassing others i'll just say again generally because harassing is such a like casual term uh, some people will use that term when you're just actually providing Wingardium criticism. And criticism Leviosa. is still, you know, it's a thing that happens. People will not always, you know, agree with the things that you do or, you know, like the things that you do if you do change things up Wingardium from time to time Leviosa. or stuff like that. That's fine. Uh, so you as a content creator, you know, should learn how to, how to have, <laughs> learn how to have thicker skin is a uh, very harsh way of putting Wingardium it. But like, Leviosa. learn how to deal with people criticizing. And for the people who are, you know, actually inciting harassment, uh, just, you know, learn or like see what you're doing and just kind of go, hey, you know, it's not the end of the world that things change or people do things or stuff like that. Like, you know, take a step back, breathe, figure out whether your, your, you know, intentions are properly, uh, justified and you're not just acting on a raw emotion or because someone told you to feel something like just kind of you know that is a brain there is just a brain i have picked up a brain that uh, wow that actually was the brain oh that's the brain for the potions class have i got enough beans i do have enough beans so i could probably i was about to call him bert and ernie that's uh that's a bit yeah so but yeah yeah uh, the whole, the whole drama is drama, and I do hope everyone comes out, uh, of this knowing why people Harry, acted like this. Harry, in the dungeons, your friend, Hermione. Because, uh, I think there is a degree of self-introspection a lot of people have. Great, um, you found the sloth I think a lot of people, unfortunately, will Hogwarts. never learn. And I don't know if we can, you know, expect expect people to always do that. Are you back in the castle? Did you just walk all the way back to the castle? Because I need to now walk back out. The race for the house I do. I need years. to walk back out. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, well. Ravenclaw. The worst part as well, this is about halfway through the game, so I'm thinking this is a apt time to call the stream, but I do need to do the bonus room, so I will do the bonus room before I continue on. Still, lots of house points. Slytherin. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. <laughs> These are some big vials, man. They were only built for 500 Gryffindor sand. The lead 500 house, house points worth of sand. The race for the house cup is heating up. 
Ravenclaw would be like, hmm, we haven't done anything all year. So... I'm gonna proceed to ignore you, Ron, because I need to go outside. I need to figure out how to get that one, that one card as well. There might be some cards that I'm just full on, like, missing. Uh, but I saw that one. So there's gotta be something to it. But, let's, uh, let's speak to the twins, to Bird and Ernie, I guess. Uh... Well done. You've got enough blue every flavor beans. Mmm. Blueberry pie. My favorite. Thanks, Harry. The password for the ground's portrait is Cat Weasel. Cat Watch Weasel. out for Snape, Harry. He shows up when you'd least expect him. Just literally now. Um, also, just want to say, uh, with the drama, it kind of ceases to exist once I go off uh, Twitter and major sites. Twitter seems to be one of the only places where complete nobodies can say something and it gets a lot of traction. And that's not to say that you, you know, if you're a complete nobody, you shouldn't say something. But more that, like, there's a lot of stuff that is created by nobodies that has no basis. Like, the vetting isn't really there, so... Uh, if you, if you are a person caught up into this, or caught into this... Hello, um, Harry. Um, the there's a lot of these bean minigames, I'll tell you that. If you're a person and you've engaged in this drama, don't feel bad if you feel like you're being called, called out or anything, by the way. Like, just, you know... Like, all, all I say is, like, take a step back, just figure out where you are, and go, Hmm, do I need to keep engaging in this? It's up to you, but... You know, like, I haven't really opined on this drama because I just think it's mostly that, just drama. Well done, Harry. And, uh, all the and yeah. Means. You've earned a famous witches and wizards card for your troubles. I swear, yeah, this is the same minigame in three different, like, hidden rooms. So, I... I do not know if I'm actually still on track for collecting all these goodies, but I can definitely tell you that I've been, like... I've been spotting these hidden walls, because they're not, like... You can kind of spot them, but you got to keep your eye out for them, because obviously that was one at the beginning and I just walked past that earlier. Okay, we got Hagrid's Hut, and I'm pretty sure it was... You can't go in Hagrid's Hut. No, he's still closed off. But I'm pretty sure you can go in, like, this-ish direction. And this was where the... The thing was, and we're going to keep looking for, like, the hidden walls. Actually, it would have been just here, wouldn't it? Have been. Where the one, the one item that I just didn't know how to get. It's there. It's just up there. Do you just, do you just flipendo it out? Oh, okay, you just actually flipendo it out. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, hmm, what else would I be able to do? You just got to keep an eye out for that, I, I guess. guess the Woodcroft. It's really got to hit square to continue, but sure. Still, alright, at the end of the day, this is a comfy game. I'm having a comfy time playing a game. It's a little bit less Zelda-like than maybe I was expecting. Maybe, uh, the PS2 version might be the, uh, the more Zelda-like. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Well, I guess I'll have to open up for you now. <laughs> Teleport in my PC. Whoosh! So, um... But yeah, just to, just to reiterate, I do find it very, um, interesting how all these games, or rather this movie in particular, but there's a lot of movies that are like this, and especially in this era where, like, you had to release a GBA game at the same time, lots of these movies had these tie-in games that differed by platform. Um, uh, and especially in this period where it's like you've got the PS1 version, and obviously there's things you want to do on the PS2 that you just can't do on the PS1. But sometimes the PS1 version tries to catch up to the PS2 version. And that's that's an interesting proposition. There's a lot of neat games that are like that. And then you get ones like my Monsters Inc. Scream Team game that I played like two years back. Where it's like... Hello, back. Uh, that game is... Uh, well, it's the same on both platforms and it's kind of average. Actually, I haven't ever played the PS2 version, and I'm not too sure if there is any difference with it. But I don't think there is. Um, so yeah. 
So let's go back into the castle. Well, I guess right outside the castle grounds. I guess I am in the castle grounds. You bought a new game yesterday that I played for the last two months. Ooh, what game? What game? Oh, I forgot to mention I beat uh, Deus Ex uh, Mankind Divided um, this past couple of days ago. It was pretty right. Victoria 3. Oh, Victoria 3 is so good. Victoria 3 is so good. I do not understand it. But I do really appreciate like those games for like what they are. I, don't, I never know why these guys are glowing. It's not like you can kill them. They're just flying around. Uh, it is not. It is not good. It is not good. Oh, that's a new one to me. How come it's not good? Uh, so what's the progress for the game, by the way? What are we up to? An hour, 25, and 42%. How about let's continue a little bit? If I'm at 42%, then I'll continue a little bit. Just for you all at home. Because I'm pretty sure, actually, like... It's not like this is flat out halfway through the game. My queen, we have been invaded. We just sent our whole army to Oman. Oh, does that happen so much? That's a bit of a... That's a bit of a shame that the AI catches... Uh, well, doesn't, doesn't do their job, we'll just say. Let's go and give Snape his missing potion ingredient. We'll be in big trouble if he catches us here. He'll think we're the Greetings, ones who stole blub. it. Hey, I do not know how to defend this coastline, so... I'm playing this game about, uh, these aren't even teenage um, wizards. Then again, maybe I'll just wait here. Snape gives me the willies. Uh, as in, like, this game in particular- Oh my gosh, look at that aura he's got. He is menacing right there. I can definitely see why uh, this game might be a bit strange. This is the PS1 the version, but Was it I have, like, a, a little bit of an intention to try and was it? play various Within versions of this head. game. Because they're all... Bring it to I'm class. actually... Hold on, I'm gonna do a how long to beat check as well. I don't know if I'm gonna get, like, a good... Uh, Harry Potter and the... Sorcerer's Stone, if I just say that. Oh boy. Do we have a link by console? Yeah, they're all in the... PlayStation 1 version, 5 hours 49. Bro, I can beat it so much quicker than that, I'll tell you that. Um, PS2, 759. PC, 533. Game Boy Color, 754. This is just main, I'm just counting, but... Um, uh, Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban, PC version 4. Now, yeah, so this is the thing. The Philosopher's Song on the PC is a different game, and I do want to, like, kind of... I do want to experience it, because I feel like there's something kind of magic about, like, an Unreal Engine third-person platformer one. Um, I will say as well, this PS1 version is fairly, uh, simple, I guess? There's not really, like, too much going on with it. Um, and, uh, this game is developed by Argonaut, who made Croc 1 and 2 and the Emperor's New Groove game. Ooh, comparing the different versions. That'd be pretty cool, actually, just seeing some guy have, like, different versions. But I also do want to experience them myself. Um, and I know, I, I, I'm not too sure, uh, who was mentioning it, but, uh, the Game Boy Color version, and just, like, how, uh, much of a treat it is, so. Heading for potions class, Harry. Don't be late. Snape's a Link for my, back, my backlog. I did actually you look up the, um, excuse to take uh, away from the... Gryffindor. Uh, Archipelago uh, software as well. Experience. Game Boy Color games. You know, oh, control yeah. I, I actually, I encourage the mate to just like start it up and, and we'll I was like, I just love this like presentation that it's going through. And it's just like, you start the game and you're like, oh, please pick like a deck of like trading cards just like right off the bat. I don't know what it's used for yet. I, I think you can cast spells based on the trading cards you pick up. So like, that sounds really neat actually. Oh, my. And it's something that's lacking from the GBA yeah. game of the third one. Oh, it's the, normally the so nice and deadly quiet game. here, but it doesn't have... Actually, it does have that. Foot. It does have that. I can show you a place to hide if you yeah. tell me the password. Off you go, then, and be very Yeah, careful. yeah. So, yeah, there's five different versions of uh, the Philosopher's Stone game. Um, and uh, at least I have intentions to, sh to look at three of them. Okay, I shall remember the At 10 last, 13. Harry. Cool. Harry. I have an idea with a stolen object from Gringotts, maybe. But we'll have to attend potions class first. Come on, Harry. We don't want to keep Snape waiting. 
Gonna have to do my potions class. I love this, like, dungeon-y, like... Picture. Actually, I don't know why Snape does his potions no, in the dungeon, anyways. To mix a Wiganweld potion, first I mean, it's just how he rolls. The then you have to press the three symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. If you manage to fill your cauldron, which I doubt, I keep accidentally to trying to call him Alan Rick. The Sorry, here's Alan Rickman. I keep trying to call him Rick Wakeman, which is not not the same person. Uh, I think you can watch the video without having played all covers. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Press the buttons quick. Oh boy. Oh. It's a bit it's a bit easy. <laughs> but uh welcome to the dungeon where all the fan fiction is stored with their creators. Yeah. Only a fool would um, expect better. But yeah, yeah. But I would like to like just work. look into these different you games because especially I remember doing something room. like that personally playing uh, various The Sims titles. And The Sims 2 is a really interesting one because there's Sims 2 on the PC, and we all know how that is, but you've got The Sims 2 on the consoles, the PS2, the Xbox, and the GameCube. And that's like this interesting, okay, someone is trying to kill me, sure. Um, and he made a hole. This is part of the class, by the way. This is part of the class, this is intended. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the console version of the game, um... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Look at these little trolls! They're cute, I want one. They got a club, they'll probably kill me, but... <laughs> okay, they'd be cute from a distance, I'll just say that. These frogs, I would not eat sewer frogs at this point. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you just yeet this. And then he sneezes. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, and uh, yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Why am I constantly- Oh, I'm locked onto something over there. Hit him with the Yoshi eggs. Alright, I can see what's going on. You throw the egg, and he decides to not react to the egg. Get him! Get egged! Get egged, bro! He's not going to respond to the egg when you're standing next to him, are you? <sighs> Alright, get him. I think I get it. I think I get it. My brain is clicked in. What is the thing that you're doing? Um, and just throw the egg while he's standing on the vent and try and predict it. There you go. This guy. Oh, no! Did he... He's still on it. Oh, he's not on it anymore. Darn. Um, but yeah, uh, The Sims 2 on consoles is a different experience where you play as one character and you actively control them and try to do, like, these little mini objectives at each location. The other Sims console games, like the older ones, did that as well, but it's just interesting that the PC version never did that in particular. Um, now, The Sims 2 on the uh, DS is uh, this weird, bizarre experience which actually involves the real-time clock, as in you can't progress through the game until real-time days pass. And it's, it's filled with all these bizarre mini-games. I hear her down there meowing. Oh my goodness, cat. I shall proceed to ignore the cat. Nah. <laughs> I love that you can try and ignore the cat, but... This is an ominous hallway, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I have destroyed the box. I'm always worried that, like... Oh, she... oh that, that's the cat. That is the cat. It was in a little box. That is a real teeny tiny cat. Like, Harry is a is a kid. And this kitten is like four inches long. Wow. Uh, so, so yeah. So, The Sims 2 on the DS is a really weird experience. The Sims 2 on the GBA uh, is a TV show? As in, like, it... You create episodes of a TV show. And so the game is broken down into these episodes where you... Um, 
where you effectively like you know cause drama. Oh, and then we I can Leviosa the cat. Leviosa. See ya, cat. Thanks, Harry. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for you. Okay, bro, you could have just kept that and not dropped it in the sewer. <laughs> Sure, okay. I'm curious what else is like down this route as well. Um... But yeah, the uh... The, the GBA game's weird like that. And then, uh, one more for good measure. The PSP game is a different game entirely. Uh, which, uh, involves an actual open world that you explore. I guess some of the other ones are open world, so to speak, but... I have felt the rat. Um, but the, the PSP game is another open world and it's got this bizarre plot involving like uh, this guy who's effectively like corrupting the townsfolk around you. And there's all these weird like plots and the, the uh, this is a mild spoiler, but like the end of the game you basically convince the guy that he has no free will because of the plum, like the Sims plum bob above of him. It's really bizarre. There's there's like a cult of the cow god like somewhere in the middle. It's a really bizarre game. And on top of that, I'm not too sure if that's every version of The Sims 2, but that's five of them. But like, like that's what I am like. Oh, I mean, they did eat the beans, which I shall then give to Fred and George, who will comment on its flavor. You know, the Harry Potter games, PC versions of the game and the Game Boy Color versions are the best. Yeah, this is, like, I think this is, like, going to be a bit of a fun experiment, just, like, seeing what's different about all these games. Because, yeah, just, you know, it is weird. You'd think it would be expensive to release, a, like, a game on, well, I guess they're expecting the returns of releasing a game on all the platforms to be, like, manageable. Yes, there is fall damage. Yes, Harry did just took take a bit of damage there are bats in this room they just fall floor. i can imagine why there's bats in this room this is a silly room let's just say that so i believe you stop the platforms i i remember this was like such a bizarre room because it's just like oh my gosh come on okay and then it's just gonna start going. Okay. Oh, that's the next one. I guess they don't want me targeting this one, they just want me going for it. Okay, here we go. Once more. Who put this here? Snape! Your challenges suck. Your challenges are too obtuse. I see what they're going on over here as well, so... Picking up them beans! How many beans do I need? 80. Okay. Oh, there we go. Look, this door is sleeping. I love how the trolls have just like a regular old bedroom, like he's got a fun little bed. And he's sleeping the wrong way, head side on the narrow side. He's got a key. So, yeah, these, these multi-platform releases are definitely like, really like, interesting. Because, there's a lot of talks of like, oh, you know, which version's the best version? Once you get to like the Xbox 360 generation, it's just like games either had a Wii version or they just skipped the Wii version or something like that. Um, and then it's just like the Xbox 360 or the PS3. Sometimes one's better than the other. So I'm pretty sure you can like tiptoe your way and pick up these beans without alerting this guy. Imagine uh, if after the release of Hogwarts Legacy, which keys work in almost post-Soviet re regions in Steam, except Russia and Belarusia, release a new game for the PS3 just to make money. That would be interesting if they did do that. And I love how Harry like whispers. Oh my gosh! I have been clobbered. And he dropped me outside. I wanted the bean, I realized I missed the bean. 
I I am Mr. Bean. Oh my goodness. Uh, and the <laughs> and the cage is back to where it was. Okay. Listen, I tried being gentle. I tried dropping this. I'm gonna drop it on the hay, and he doesn't hear it. Cool. I'm gonna pester him twice. <laughs> You know what I appreciate? Every every area of this game has been a you know, a very different theme. You got your, your castle kinda kinda aesthetics, and yeah, I guess this is still the castle to some degree, but uh like look at this troll door, look at that. Oh <laughs> give him extra serious business. Oh okay, yeah, these guys are chilling around. They are just chilling oh no, now they're angry. Hi there, Mr. Man, how you doing? Ooh. Oh no! Apparently killing the, uh... Killing the trolls has unlocked the door. I remember the ending of Croc 2 and it's just like... All these bizarre... Challenges that you had to do. Like the one where it's like you gotta like bump up the platforms. Look at this, it's a jar of fireflies? You would not believe your eyes. Ten million fireflies. I was not a big fan of that song at the time. It's got that weird like pop vocal aesthetic of the late two thousands that was a bit hideous. I wasn't expecting you back. Peace so was soon. never an option. Give me those fireflies. Listen, it's okay to be prejudiced against trolls, apparently. <laughs> They're hideous creatures. Now Ugly me, people peace, never Potter. win. Your defense against the dark arts class with Professor Quiddle is about to start, and you're already late. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. I... I love how, how Snape is like, hmm, you have been trapped in my dungeon for hours. I'll be shamed in 10 years. Bro, I probably got some edgy stuff that I said in 10 years. Oh, like 10 years ago, so you could probably cancel me now. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, which way did Professor Krill land? Is this defense against the art cart? Okay, cool. I shall opt to go down this little tiny passage. Hi there. Professor Quirrell placed these platforms to test his students, but I can't figure out how to get up them. I think I need to attend the Defense Against the Dark Arts class before I can stand on them. Wow. <gasps> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Appreciate telling me I can't do this. Can't say green skin on Orc and Orc. You can't say green skin? I always, like... I always wonder, like... Is it okay for there to be, like... Ah, uh, <laughs> this is this is this is this is a uh, a contentious topic. Listen, my my opinion is this is a fantasy world. Let people in fantasy worlds be fantastically evil people. You know, there's a degree of you know keep it in the fantasy world and don't be like you know super duper. You know, not how do I say it? There's a time that you can be in character, we'll just say that. Okay, so they put beans here. There's beans all over the place. I remember this room in, uh, the, uh, Great Deku Tree, you know, where you had to, like, jump over on the left. Dang it. Dang it, books. But yeah, I... I don't know, the, uh, people being a bit revisionist about the kinds of stuff that was in World of Warcraft. Like, I don't know, man. Oh, please, oh, gosh, why is this one book just not in the right place? Can you just jump onto this book from here? Nope. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my sweet time. There's all these beans in that direction as well that I just won't be able to get. Uh, 
Get it. What? Cool. The beans are mine. And now I should be able to make a getaway. And then somehow figure out the next room in half the time. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. This next room can't be that bad, right? Oh my gosh, it's the exact same problem. But that is the end over there, so as long as I can do this in just enough time, I should be good. Uh, beans, beans, there's no beans. Okay, cool. This clock is gonna be the bane of my existence, let me tell you that. I'm gonna get traumatic stress over this darn clock. This seems like it's a bit more appropriate to get the beans. Because I'm gonna put a thing here, and it just lets me get the beans. Plus the beans fall off, which that one did. Cool. Uh, meanwhile, Russian translators change LGPT, chat GPT, LGPT. Oh boy, I'm not gonna make this in time, am I? That guy's gonna do the. Oh my gosh. All right, come on, 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 come on. Put yourself in a good spot. Put yourself in a good spot. Put yourself in a good spot. Good spot. Good spot. Good spot. Good spot. Okay, stop it. We're going for. Oh, oh, heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Woo! <laughs> Welcome, young Mr. Woo. Potter, to d d defense um, against dark arts. You're just in time. There were friends who made in brothers in this shit. Ah, uh, okay. Right. I'm P P Professor Quirrell, and this is your yeah. defense against the dark arts lesson. You may LGBT. Begin, he Harry. got the RGB. Today we'll learn a most powerful spell, Vertimilius. Get ready. Bonk, bonk. That was good. You gotta Excellent. learn the spells to use the spells. Perfect. I still don't know what's with <laughs> his face is hilarious. I'll tell you that. To get difficult. I love how it's like you gotta learn the spells, but you've gotta like react good. to the pattern immediately as it's happening. Excellent. Like, you, like I'm tapping the buttons the moment it does it Perfect. on the first go. I don't get to see a pattern of it going one. over the buttons. I just have to like immediately see that that was landing on square immediately. Keep trying. I think there's a retro achievement like thing for good. getting the right like buttons first go every Excellent. time, which means. You have to get through the platforming and then do Perfect. the buttons. To do the, the challenge. I don't know. I should probably look at the letter Jim said on this one. Time to practice the Verdimilius spell. Never trust a guy with... A turban? Man, that's a... Now, that's Harry, a bad statement to make. Time to, time to cancel me arts. for that one. Listen, First, this, this guy's weird. He's got a weird face. We'll just say that. Darkness. Observe how the Verdimilia spell flares, forcing back the d -d darkness, lighting the path there across. There you go. There's plenty of stuff to cancel me the for in this quickly, stream. As your spell will it. only hold off the d -d darkness for a brief time. Good luck, young wizard. Young wizard. So, uh, Verdimilius is... Uh, I always thought Verdimilius was something else, but apparently it's the platform maker in this game. Impressive. Five points to Gryffindor. Any reason why you put a bottomless pit here? Be me, bottomless pit inspector. Pit is no longer bottomless. Harry, I've been waiting for ages. I'm Do you sorry. Know what Dumbledore said that the upper castle is out of bounds to all students. Which it is. That must be where the stolen object is. Is it? Let's split up and look for a way up there. There Good is luck, a Harry. lot of places you could put a stolen object than upstairs. You can just put it outside the castle. We'll never find it now. I shall proceed to f delve further into the depths of the dungeon. Because look at all this, like, stuff that's here. Let's do a good old save. A good old fashioned save game. Actually, I'm curious if this is a good time to... I don't want to be a student in the school that jumps into the hole. Uh, okay, I'll explore this bit just a little longer. Just a little longer. So... Uh, I'm pretty sure you go. Uh, well, <laughs> just kind of aiming in the middle, and then you blind yourself. Classic Argonaut with the literally a platformer room. <laughs> Listen, I love these guys, but oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> like is this literally a platformer room? 
There's a degree of back then you didn't have to hide what your game was. You just kind of, you just kind of made it. Is there anything? Oh, okay, I was like, is there anything on this top platform? Bonk. There we go. What is through this room? It's a mystery, apparently. I feel like if you're doing just the main story, you could probably, like, just skip all these, like, weird little side rooms as well. Because, like, what are you getting? And yes, I did just double up the side room. I went into a little secret corridor in the side room. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun for you. Okay. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. Welcome back to the dungeon, Harry. If you get them stuck in a corner, come and see me. Good luck. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see what he means about getting it stuck in the corner. This doesn't seem too bad. You just kind of push it out of the corner, I guess. Push it up, and that was. Oops. Well, at least you got a, a fair. Are, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A apparently, the edge is not is not safe. Okay, excuse me, Mr. Man. I'm running out of time. Oh dear! Shall I reset the cauldrons for you, Harry? I've not saw you here since the 1929 market crash. That is really Hello, weird, but... Harry. And now I'm he's going to tell me this again. That is really weird that you couldn't push the cauldron when it was on the edge, despite... clearly being able to... walk up to the edge. Okay. Word, word to the wise, anyone playing this game, don't, uh... don't let the cauldron go up to the edge. Apparently. There you go, he tips his head to me. Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Now, I cannot tell you as well what these witches and wizards cards are for. At least this guy let you, you know, walk out and, uh, you know, reset it. And, uh, because there are a lot of things in this game that, like, wall you off from attempting them again. Um,. There's probably some house points that I'm just I don't have, and there's gonna be a retro achievement. It's just like, oh, you didn't get all the all the house points. There's another like little tiny room. Welcome back to the dungeon again. Just more dungeon, you know. Hello, Harry. Really, really, it's the, it's the same challenge, just more more stuff. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, let's go down, and I'm gonna push this one. Okay, I have just... I just botched that one up real hard. Uh... Oh dear. That is so bizarre down? that it's the exact same challenge. Hello, hey, it is, I welcome back to the dungeon. I mean, granted, he did do three of these challenges in the, uh, the last area. I wasn't expecting to just, like, have two of them next to each other like that, though. Oh my gosh, this one's a slow moving one, I'll tell you that. Okay, that one's done. Next one. Wow, I swear they were faster moving in the last, like... In the last, like, uh, puzzle room. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wander around this side as well. Let's get this one up and at him. Okay, let's push that one along, that one should be good, and we should be good in a moment on this one, easy. What am I actually doing, well done, putting the Harry. pots on the... All the cauldrons into their yeah, this is, this is actually the Harry Potter equivalent of the strength puzzles. I do miss my good old strength puzzles. The only the the, the worst part about the strength puzzles is that they're fairly easy. It's just you have to do random encounters while you're doing them. Uh, which 
Props to gold and silver, the only time there's a, there's two strength puzzles in the whole game, and the only time that's actually required is in a nice, like, dungeon, so you're actually... Actually, I do think you have random encounters, but I feel like you don't have as many. I'm back in the dungeon, I swear, if there's a third one in this direction. Look at this magical, uh, air vent. Okay, if there's one thing I don't trust, it's an air vent in the dungeon. Oh my goodness, there's, there's another bookshelf. What's the odds? What's the odds? Rule of thirds, man. Rule of thirds. Are we doing this? Are we actually doing this? Hello, Welcome hey. back to the dungeon! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This almost looks like the last one, but I do see there's five cauldrons, so there's more going on now. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much all of them were in dungeons. I think, like, maybe in some of the later games, they put some in the gyms. Until they proceeded to never do strength puzzles ever again. What was I just shooting at? That was kind of bizarre. Okay, there we go. Love the little shockwave they make. And would you look at that, it's an actual bit of a puzzle, because you have to push them out of the way in order to push them into the way. Also, I guess, would you know, would you look at that, I had to do them in somewhat increasing order. Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witch's and wizard's It's It's weird as well, because I think that's the end of, like, this corridor from, like, the room where I had to do Verdemillion. Oh, but it's in every game. True, true. Maybe that's the Zelda inspiration. Because this game came out in 2001, so I think there's plenty of time for them to have sat down and gone, Hey, we've played Ocarina of Time. We know we we might have played Majora's Mask where we're at it as well. Um, and so they would have just gone, and Harry broke his legs on the way down. Um, but they would have just gone like, ah, yes, block pushing puzzles. And they just kind of kept that up. Because, yeah, I'm just thinking, like, that was a dead-end corridor, and this clearly went into two rooms and that's that's that that's uh that's where this whole like side route from this ledge went to just a bunch of side rooms which makes sense i guess but like uh it's just interesting <laughs> that they uh they did that they went with that okay <laughs> it's really upsetting that Harry is very angry. You'll always come back to the same hole <laughs> with the same puzzles. Yeah. Listen, there's a period of time, there's a point in time when games suddenly were able to... Uh, not able, because I guess they always were. I always cite Rayman 2 as a great example of a game where every level is just something different. They just have new ideas just brimming. Hi there. Someone has been casting spells of the dark arts, Harry. Yeah, I think the only it's problem is that they put all of the same puzzle say. in the same area. The so I'm just gonna see the same puzzle. A horrendous set of curses. Dark arts magic, I'm sure. There are four curses and each must be dispelled before the door will unlock. The actual curses are hidden around the dungeon. Once found, use your knockback jinx to dispel them. Okay, sure. The ride never ends with the devs. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh my gosh, more bats. Oh, good thing they put a save point here. The save points feel weirdly arbitrary, like... Any reason why the save is, like, in this room in particular? I guess we can see our save progress just for a moment. I'm gonna do this challenge, and I think this will be a good point to stop afterwards, but, uh... Oh, I've got a mix of potion. I love this as well. I love reading these. These are fun, like, bits to read. But you, this, this is the same problem with a lot of rhythm games. You're looking at the prompts and you miss the, you know, the stuff you want to you want to read from there on out. So, uh, yeah, you craft a... or you go into the thing, you go to the pot, you cook up a potion, and then you can drink the potion. So, at least Harry has done this of his own doing. He knows what went in it. 
I feel like they wouldn't taste that well. Or it tastes like cough syrup. Hi there. Why, it's potty wee butter. Okay, I was gonna make a hairy pooper oh, joke earlier, yeah, but... Oh, he actually has done fatty fatty note parents now. He's really doing it. We woke up at 7 a.m. on Sunday to play Victoria through Northside with Americans. The, although, uh, props to waking up at 7 a.m. to play games. That's dedication right there. I assume at this time of year it's not bright outside at 7 a.m. as well, so... Although it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's February 20, we've got the... I could keep going, but I'm also thinking, like, well, when they have some... They have some weird platforming to go on here. Oh, it's mid-February, we're starting to get to the point of the, you know, the year where... At least here in Australia, it's starting to get cooler. Oh, he's, he's, he's de dashing all over. Found, uh, self-confident to speak English, almost. Ooh, very nice. I was also going to say as well, you speak uh, a pretty good English when you speak to me. Although you might be hiding the use of a translator, but that's still, you know, I can't tell. Uh, okay, now I'm curious, what was the other room? You remember the, uh, the, the level in Croc 2 with the, the red ant? I forgot what his name was. Bully Billy something? This is literally that kind of platforming, except at least I don't have to manually, like, jump. I just walk to the edge. Gosh, I'm trying to figure out, like, how to, like, not get loop back lost with those, like, side rooms. Because this is wandering into a different place. Use it earlier with some sentences, now you're using for a few words. Yeah, you're doing a good job, and definitely, you know, hey, I don't really know my second languages. I know a bit of Latin, that's it. I can't, I, I, I'm not very good at giving you some Latin, like, from scratch, though. I just gotta, like, keep looking up things in a dictionary. They put a save point at the bottom of this pit. Because after a game, I spent five hours speaking with two Americans before they went to sleep. I'd say that's, that is the best, like, way to learn um, a language as well. Just start interacting with people who natively speak it, so... Uh, never feel bad if you always feel like, oh, you know, you're the person who knows the language the least because, oh my gosh, that's slippery. Okay, alright. I'm knowing in my brain. I know that the, the route with the pots was properly the, uh, secret route. But this is also a secret route up here. Where am I going, man? I'm just going all over the place. Uh, this is where the... Oh no, if I look down, I should see the book, right? Yeah, okay. Always interact with the people as possible and immediate... Yeah, exactly. Goodbye, green eye. I once thought that some citizens of the UK speak English worse than I am. Yeah, exactly. Like, there are... I mean, there are some horrendous native English speakers, let me tell you that. I feel like I slur a bunch of my sentences and I've got a bit of weird slang from here and there. Um, I started learning English in 5th class. When I was in 6th class, my aunt uh, brought me some Garfield comics. Ooh, good old Garfield. He hates Mondays. But like, that's the, I mean, that's the, the fun part about like, learning another language is to really appreciate, um... You know, like the 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 media and the 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 kinds of things that are created using that language. Oh my gosh, Harry, you are not supposed to climb ledges like that. Mondays hate him. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, okay, I'm I, I'm curious about this route with the tables, because like, yeah, what what room does this put you in? There's a ledge here, so there's obviously a way to get back. Although, yeah, 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 there's a way to get back. I guess I have to still... <laughs> he almost fell in the back rooms, exactly. Oh, you've actually got to fight one of these knights in armor. 
you'd be surprised that the X button to win everything in this game, because for reference, I still barely hit triangle and, and square and circle. I'm only hitting the uh, the cross button. Uh, and, and yeah, it's the dungeon. We are 140 minutes in. I'm not going too much longer. Like, the moment I'm, I'm out of this room with the, uh, like, you know, the four demon things, like, we'll call it there. Um, I was under the impression that, uh, uh, you, like, you get your four spells in the game, and you got your four different kinds of beans. And I was just thinking, like, mm, I'm kind of almost maxing out, like, this one bean anyway. But I'm pretty sure after the fourth bean, there's still, like, another kind of part of the game, so... I mean, I... That Tomb Raider string was long? Uh... We're not even gonna mention Metroid Prime. <laughs> yeah, I'll end the stream after this level. Granted... Granted, that, that one... Yeah, yeah, last, last week, that was legitimately a four-hour stream, and that was because I loved Metroid Prime, and I just magically said to myself, Hey, I got this. I got this. Because I didn't want to do, like, an hour and a half stream. I, just in my brain, I didn't want to do that. But then, inevitably, I was like, well, I called the two hours wrong, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, the Aqua Pirate backtracking, yeah. Granted, that was only like 10 minutes. That didn't add that much time. Okay, who put these platforms here? Meta gaming, so. There is an art to getting the timing of your streams right. Oh boy, this is, this is getting precarious. That got precarious. Oh yeah, 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 it's seven hours, which makes it like, I mean, it's going to be way longer than this game, but I'm going to do this game in two streams, and it probably will be, like, four hours in a bit. Oh my gosh, just actually lock onto the right enemies right here. Harry died. Is this, like, a full dead? <laughs> ah, I love this. It's just an image right here. The boy who died. I'm pretty sure it's back at the beginning of the, the loading screen. Right? Yeah, which unfortunately means there's still two of those floating around, but... So I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm pretty sure the game remembers which beans you've gotten, but uh, since there's more beans than you need, I'm probably going to be pretty set by the time I just find that, like, there was a box of beans somewhere. He just wakes up in hospital. Oh, I've got a sore head. I wonder who did those illustrations, because, uh, like, I feel like they've been around for longer than the films. Imagine in the middle of you jumping on the flying tables, it would stop levitating. Yeah, exactly, like, like, I feel like at some point, like, Harry's gonna go, Nah, man, this is, like, it's a bit too many floating platforms for me. This is actually a precursor to Dark Souls Combat. Today is the day in which Harry Potter died. Exactly. Okay, so I'm just trying to like backtrace in my mind. I swear I actually like went down here. I don't know why there was a pot here, which makes me think did stuff unload. Era of Terror's finally ended. Exactly. That's an all the bad th No, I did continue going on in this direction. And then this is where the red demon was. These were actually demons. They were just demons here in my Harry Potter video game. I started playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and I, I really appreciate that for a game that, like... Kind of has strong vampire culture. It's also like, well, there's some werewolves in there, some like ghouls and ghosts, and just like a bit of everything. It was kind of good fun just to have like, you know, your uh, gothic catch-all kind of going on. This looks like where there could be a blue glowy guy because it's glowing blue, or there could be a bunch of frogs. 
Oh, well, there's a guy. I have popped an eyeball. Eyeballs, I don't know if eyeballs actually pop. Some medical doctor will tell me that like, oh yeah, they do pop, we do it all the time. I remember the last crash game where N Cortex said, your whole world is upside down, now this bandicoot is Australian confused. I can guarantee he just made the whole world right side up. What's the, 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 the saying? It's like, uh, your eyes see the world upside down anyways. Which is kind of weird, because it's just like, your eye is like, you know, are indeed seeing the world upside down, but it's also just like, it's not like it doesn't work the other way, it's just... You know, the, the vision is coming in a certain way. That's it. But it's a fun fact. That your, your brain lenses work in a certain way. Oh, I guess, okay. Now it's actually a backtrack all the way up, because like, this is gonna... Fly up, there we go. There's a Slytherin shield, that's how you know this is an evil place. Actually, they're, um... Their, like, dorm room is... Oh, that goes down. The dorm room is... Uh, oh, that also goes down. <laughs> the dorm room's in the, um... In the... <laughs> I was just gonna say in the sewers. In the, uh, the dungeon. Alright, so I guess I gotta actually go all the way back up. And all the way back towards, uh... The other actual route. I still think it's actually really bizarre that this whole area is a side area. Like, when you think about it, it's like, man, you know, that's a bit... That feels a bit gutsy, having, like, a kind of significant side region of the game. Because, like, this is, you know, a proper level. POV Australia did not exist in the midst of New Zealand. People can kill people by dumping them in the ocean. Um, that's just Tasmania, actually. That's not the whole of Australia. It's just Tasmania is like that. Okay, time to, uh... I'm pretty sure I can hit this guy. I just made him poop out fire. But I, I love this, like... <laughs> slippery floor is incredible. This is the greatest icy floor I have ever seen in my life. Play some initial D, Eurobeat. Why have you done... Why have you don't this with this turtles? That is a very, very good question. The turtles didn't do anything wrong. You cannot hurt the turtles. Yes, they may be spewing fire at you, but that's a personal choice, okay? Is that a heartbeat? That actually might have been a heartbeat. I need to feel your heartbeat, heartbeat. So close, it feels like mine. Is it, is it ever, this <laughs> remind me how my turtles die. Oh, no. I will say, I will say my ideal pet of choice, I've maybe mentioned this, but my ideal pet of choice is I would love to get a tortoise. Now, I feel like there's a lot of logistics issues with getting out to work in Australia because, you know, when it gets to like 36 degrees in the summer on average, the pooping blood, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Poor turtle. I hope, I hope he, uh, you know, I hope he had a good life. On my own EAs? When I was, oh. Poor turtle and poor you as well. That's a... Is that like a real chronic... On your eyes? Why is he, okay, why is he pooping on your eyes though? I gotta know what you were doing. Were you just like, you hold them up, you look underneath and go, ugh. You bought another one. It didn't do the same thing, did it? No, not the same way. What were the names of the turtles? What were the names of the turtles? That's okay. But yeah, I really want to get a tortoise, uh, and as long as he can survive in 35 degree Sydney weather, 
Um, then I would love to have one because it'd be fun to take on walks. You go, it'd be fun to eat stuff because they love like cabbage. They, eat, I think I read up, they eat like two thousand dollars worth of cabbage a year, which is not too much actually when you consider like most pets still take like a thousand dollars of food. You don't want to upset her. The tortoise is big. The transfiguration but class I feel like there's a lot of logistics and just you can gain access to it from I don't know where you were one of them. Don't say in the dungeon. Don't don't say in the dungeon. <laughs> you might be worried that I just hit a loading screen after going into that room, by the way. You'll be pleased to know there are more beans. Which I definitely need. I'm pretty sure this is actually like... Yeah, this is a... A dead end in the sense of... Let's go somewhere. Uh... Oh, my parents don't dump the second one on the train. Oh no. Couldn't type because I was cleaning spills. Oh no! Hopefully it's a water spillage because they're easy enough. Uh... This is a kind of miraculous way for the whole, Harry, like, have you got those green area to, things? like, circle back to itself. Huh, nice you said actual demons in Harry Potter can't want to say you're a sa you're a Satanist, you? Harry. I'm a what? A Satanist. A, 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 I keep saying Santa in my brain. A Satanist. Wanglewort. Well done, young man. You've got the password. Turns out the mums in the USA are trying to ban the books for right. I, I don't know, like, witchcraft, I swear, was like... Cr you are Santa, Harry. Pretty sure Dumbledore is really Santa. Oh, I, I, I don't know why. I thought he that was a that was a skateboard for a moment. I was like, oh my gosh. Harry Potter quick pitch. Quick pitch? I just said Quidditch in my head. And then I was like, no, like, kickflip. That's what I wanted to say. FPS. Minus one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was... That, the PS1 just struggles to play this game. Just... I don't know why. I just decided to make it like that. So, uh... So, yeah. That's a good spot to leave it. Because that's the whole third area of the game. This is bound to be a bit more through halfway of the game. Um... But this was also two and a half hours. So I feel like this is a good spot to call it. So, uh... Anyways, with that... With my tortoise discussion, with all the, the fun <laughs> the fun talks we've had, I would like to thank you so very, very, very much for watching. You're a memory card, Harry. <laughs> uh, uh, if you had a good time, uh, I'm glad you did. Uh, feel free to, you know, follow or whatever. He did, he, true, true. You gotta save your war crimes over time. People don't hate you if you do it twice. It's like, um... Uh... What's the thing? You you can you can strike lightning can strike twice if it's so far apart. You know what I mean? Like if you're like Fiona Apple or you're like um, uh, Paul Walker, you know, it's not a war crime if you win. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey, Australia also has lamingtons. Lamingtons are pretty alright, and we got kingas and the lizard wizard, so. That's pretty alright, so. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, you can follow or watch the VOD later. And, uh, stay fresh, stay chill, uh, and I'll see you all next week. Yeah, okay, you don't have to mention the Emus won the war. I know, I know. <laughs> alright, catch you all later.